Hey guys, what's up? I know. Ah, I had to get everything all set up. I got some lemonade. I'm excited. Okay, guys, so today I have three pick a piles. All right, I have my favorite angel deck, okay, Archangel deck. Then I have a stone deck. And finally, I have my favorite the uh, medicine card. So choose a pile. Okay, I'm going to start from left to right. So this is one, two, and then three. All right. Can everybody hear me? All good? And um, I don't know if someone's sick. My voice feels very dry and raspy. So something to be aware of. I know, Tom. I already know. I had a feeling. You're sly, man. You're sly. Okay. So take a moment. Let's all take a deep breath. Everybody, welcome, welcome. All right, so welcome to my channel, Tarot Sombrero. Grateful for all of your love. Thank you so much for tuning in to today's uh, Pick a Pile or Pick a Collective. So before we get started, let's all take a deep breath together. Breathing in through your nose and taking a deep breath out through your mouth. Inhale, breathing in. Exhale, breathing out. One more time, you guys. Excellent. All right, so I like to root all of my readings in love, and these are just for confirmation on what you are intuitively feeling, okay? In regards to your situation, uh, as usual, I have my, um, where are they? My beautiful Rider Waite tarot guys. Great deck, okay? Um, let's see. So when I was meditating today, I had Kuan Yin, all right? I was really sitting with her. Um, I also had Shango, which was interesting. Um, let's see, I had Archangel Raphael, Michael, as always. Um, today, I really felt Archangel Metatron. Uh, I was really not connecting too much with um, source, but more my higher self. Not that source isn't always involved. Um, but yes, without further ado, I hope you guys had enough time to pick your piles. All right, I'm gonna get started here. I did get that one deck, okay? Um, Tom, I can't put it on the stream. It, it's really explicit. Um, so this is the one that's a little more PG. All right, but yeah, <laughs> I um, I got that. I got that. Let's see if I can find another one that's a little bit more PG. Um, okay, this this one's this one's okay. This one's a little bit risque, shall we say? Okay, so they they're definitely way more um, intimate. Okay, definitely very intimate, but Tom, we're going to have to find a time to do that one privately because I don't want to get, <laughs> I don't want to get flagged for anything. All right, but without further ado, you guys, I'm going to start with pile number one. <clears throat> so let's see, let's see. All right, so I'm feeling with this a lot of calmness. Maybe there's some underlying anxiety. All right, that's what I'm feeling. But let's shuffle the cards and see what we have. So the cards are pretty sticky for some reason. Um, so maybe this is a sticky situation. Okay. 
So I'm so intrigued. All right. Six of Raphael. All right. This is talking about embracing your inner child. This is my Six of Cups, which is really talking about past connections, um, really evaluating your childhood even, all right, um, and rekindling old connections. Some of them could be really old, um, like that are in childhood, or this is someone that you have known. <laughs> um, I should start an 18 plus stream. I really should. All right, with this Knight of Ariel, all right, this is talking about someone, whether that's you or them, that um, you guys are trustworthy, very dependable, very funny, very understanding. I'm always drawn to this angel literally weaving um, money, right, from this, like, treasure chest um, into the ground. I'm really being drawn to that, okay? Okay. Also, don't keep your hands idle for too long uh, because you have a big mission here, all right? And this is also letting me know if you have lost anybody, particularly a female, could be a grandmother or just someone that was um, very feminine, could be a male, but have strong feminine energy as well. Um, they are watching over you, okay? So that is really lovely to, to know that your loved ones are always close to you. Um, with the Queen of Michael, this is talking about someone that is very resilient, very reliant um, on them on themselves. Okay, they're very harmonious because they speak their truth. This is a no nonsense queen. Okay, so whoever this is, this is someone that really does not take any BS. I also um, right now I'm really being drawn to this weird light. Do you guys see this weird light? So I don't know if like, I want to say maybe some sort of pregnancy or something or there's something about a light, okay? I don't know if they work in lights or are, are like to be in the lights, okay? And I'm also really being drawn to this dove, all right? Which is, um, this is just a general collective, okay? This was pick a pile for number one. This was pick a pile for number one. Archangel, um, what was it? Tarot. So with the two of Gabriel, this is talking about making some sort of passionate decision because twos are always about making a decision, but it's also talking about balance. This is talking about being very bold. And again, with that female energy, I really feel like there is some sort of um, strong feminine energy that is watching over you, maybe even blessing you with gifts, um, abundance, uh, things that are very important to you. And then this is also talking about um, connecting with people that share your vision, all right? Maybe even people that you grew up with, um, Maybe there was someone in your past that you really resonated with and um, yeah, there's maybe there's some rekindled love even or um, there's just something in your past that maybe you're trying to work through, all right? I'm looking for my Rider weight here. So let's see. What advice? Let's do advice. Okay, so this could be a fire sign. They could love cats, all right? This could be also someone that is very physically attractive. <clears throat> they could like sunflowers or the color yellow. I'm really being drawn to these lions, so I really feel like they could be a Leo. Okay, and this cat, yeah. Um, but it could be any fire sign, all right? Okay, so we got the five of wands. This is talking about competition. All right, so I don't know if you are someone that is very competitive or if you're dealing with someone that is very competitive. All right, yeah. But um, it looks like you, take it how it resonates, um, are very stable, very grounded, very rooted. All right, 
with this fool i'm really getting that you are taking a leap of faith maybe in your career okay with that pentacles but with the seven of wands i feel like maybe there's a lot of obstacles in regards to trying to manifest this new abundance because of all this yellow and again with the coins and even the yellow it almost feels like there's a golden path i don't know why i'm feeling that you know like even the yellow here Okay, we have temperance, and this is talking about balancing things out within yourself, okay? This is also taking a break. This is talking about an instant attraction as well. Um, but yeah, more yellow, okay? You really have yellow coming in strong. That's a color that I'm really feeling um, connected with in this reading. So again, I don't know if maybe even working with your solar plexus that could be um, one way of connecting with that yellow energy, okay? Let's see. Yeah, this is talking about healing. So I think right now your guides are trying to tell you that um, you should probably focus on healing, um, healing yourself, maybe healing from whatever it was. It was maybe a bad financial decision or... Um, some sort of conflict or argument that has a lot of barriers that have to be unblocked, right? There has to be a lot of compromise, okay? Because I really associate this with friendship as well because um, angels are all about kind of bringing people together. Uh, but yeah, with the Four of Swords, I really feel like you're being called to set healthy boundaries, okay? Because this is the Queen of Swords, all right, and this is being someone that um, speaks their truth, all right? But this is also letting me know that um, you are someone that is really taking time to reconnect with themselves, okay? Especially since um, this person, right, they look like they're sleeping. Maybe you need to go to bed. Um, it could be that, or take a nap if you're working really hard. Yeah, because this King of Cups, I don't know if you're dealing with a King of Cups, this could be any water sign. Um, you know, this is really talking about being passionate about a project, okay? Or being passionate about some sort of new beginning. Or maybe even being a little bit reserved about the emotions. Because the water looks a little choppy, right? There's some waves. So I really feel like... Um, you know, maybe there's something that you're tentative about. Maybe you're tentative about taking a leap of faith, right, with this fool. Whether that's in your career or in your love, it can be really intimidating. Like, this person is pretty stoic, you know. They're, they're looking pretty stoic. Yeah, oh my goodness. So you have the Six of Cups. <laughs> Clarifying the Six of Cups. This is what the Six of Cups looks like um, traditionally. So this is, again, talking about maybe connecting with someone from your past, specifically a, can a water sign. I was going to say cancer, but yeah, a water sign, okay? Or even a strong female uh, with air placement. So that could be Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, okay? This is my Sagittarius card. So this could be people that are around you. This is Aries, all right? This is any earth sign, but specifically Capricorn and Taurus, okay? And this can be any fire sign, all right? Heavy emphasis on Leo with the sun, all right? This is my yes card. So if you're wondering if you should connect with someone in your past, you know, everybody has free will. I think your angels are letting you know that for your highest good, you should focus on healing yourself, all right? But with the sun, I feel like ultimately um, you're going to do what you what you got to do for you. All right. That is what I have for you. Pile number one. All right. I also feel like the divine is really blessing you with a lot of abundance right now. Maybe with a lot of company. All right. A lot of um, friendships. Maybe old time like friends. Especially with the holidays. Maybe connecting with a lot of family members as well, all right, and uh, making sure that you are setting healthy boundaries, you know, 
family members uh, can sometimes be uh, pretty intense. So you got to make sure you, you set those healthy boundaries with them. Okay, moving on to pile number two. <clears throat> All right, so <laughs> I have pile number two here. Welcome pile number two. So if you chose this lovely pile, um, I wanna let you know that this is all about rocks and minerals and stones and crystals, whatever word you wanna use. So this is really talking about connecting with the earth, okay? Um, maybe grounding specifically. I'm trying to see what I'm feeling. There's a lot of movement with this. Um, it feels like tectonic plates shifting almost, if that makes sense. Something very deep in the earth moving. Okay. I'm trying to see what else, what else? Okay, so, oh wow, okay, we have the Golden Healer, lovely, this is a beautiful card. This is really talking about um, using maybe even this crystal to specifically work on healing um, all of your chakras, okay, especially with this purple, maybe even connecting with the... Um, ultraviolet fire angels okay i really feel like they're trying to help you clear some sort of block that you're carrying with you okay bloodstone which is the number 11 i don't know if you've been seeing the number 11 but this is an a master number and bloodstone i actually have with me right now so funny that that one came up this is really asking you to connect with your ancestors okay so i feel like um, you know, meditating and going within for you, really connecting to not only your ancestors, but the ancient ones, all of them. Uh, and again, maybe even speaking your truth, working on the throat chakra with all this lovely blue. I'm really being drawn to like this green, blue. I don't even know what color this is, but it's just very like earthy. All right. Yeah. And again, like, <laughs> I feel like with tectonic plates, isn't there lava that's like underneath there or something? I feel like that's kind of what it would look like. Um, but yeah, really connecting with your ancestors, maybe even doing some sort of uh, ancestral clearing, okay? Because bloodstone is really good for clearing um, past life trauma, sexual trauma, um, and also just a lot of of family or ancestral programs that have been carried on all right let's see all right the last card which is um seven okay i really associate that with christ and again with this purple i'm really feeling um a heavy emphasis on connecting with ultraviolet angels maybe even amethyst or if you're doing anything with protection or if you are not doing your prayers or protection really bring awareness to that um this is also talking about abundance and manifestation so this could be talking about doing some sort of yoni release work um especially with the bloodstone um i'm really feeling like i i really don't know if i'm allowed to say this but if you have experienced um sexual abuse or sexual trauma really focus on talking to someone and uh, maybe even a Reiki healer in your area and uh, really focusing on releasing uh, all of this fear perhaps that you are carrying around uh, willingly or unwillingly. Um, and if this is your story, I am so sorry that that is something that you experienced. Um, but healing can always be found uh, within, all right? That's really what I'm feeling. All right, and at the bottom of the deck, we have huh, number 44. So um, I don't know if you've been seeing angel number 44 a lot, but with the perpite, this is really talking about clearing a lot of things in your aura, really protecting yourself, okay? Really calling on your ancestors, 
your guides, um, and maybe even going back to the roots. I'm really feeling like, you know, really connecting with your heritage um, is really going to help you move through this um, with ease and grace. But we are going to clarify here with some of the tarot. All right. But yeah, really focus on working with, um, you know, the crystal golden healer, bloodstone as well, and carnelian. I really love working with carnelian um, when I do sessions with my clients. I really feel like it helps ground a lot of the energy and the heavy emotions. Hi, Angel. Yes, so uh, I think you'll be after Tom Cruise. Yes. Okay. So what else? What else am I getting? Yeah, maybe even setting up an altar for your um, ancestors. That could be really helpful for them to really connect with you. Or even connecting with, um, you know, uh, deities that are associated with the color red or um, that are very rooting and grounding energies, okay? Yeah, wow. <laughs> All right, so you could be an Aries or you could be dealing with an Aries um, in regards to this wounded healer. I mean, golden, <laughs> you could be a healer as well, all right? Um, but yeah, this is really talking about, you know, standing in your power, being um, at the top of your game. Uh, virility is really what I'm hearing, okay? So um, I don't know if that's a characteristic that this person has, okay? But with the Six of Cups, this is someone that um, either you have very deep feelings for or someone that um, you have known for quite some time, okay? I just heard a little jingle from my neighbor. Um, she's a bit restless, so I'm going to take that as a confirmation. Okay, with the Four of Cups, I feel like you re maybe rejected this person or this person um, rejected you, okay, to get how it resonates, but yeah, this is really talking about, um, you know, the universe trying to work with you, and you're just saying no to whatever this offer is, okay, with the Hierophant, um, you know, this is talking about, uh, being a, uh, the high priest, basically, so, um, this is someone that has a lot of, uh, spiritual gifts, okay, uh, heavy emphasis on maybe even being a male. All right, I don't know if I'm connecting with a male energy. And I'm also really being drawn to the keys at the feet. Okay, um, and is this person even wearing shoes? I don't know. Okay, I think they're wearing shoes. And they have like these, like, okay, interesting. It's like black and white, like checkers at the bottom. So I don't know if this person has like a checkered past. I've never really noticed that. Or if this person... Um, goes between extremes let's see what else they could also be a Taurus heavy emphasis on a Taurus with the Hierophant or this is someone that is in a committed relationship but again I really feel like this is talking about um, some sort of maybe ancestral curse especially with that bloodstone and really bringing awareness to that and clearing that once and for all yeah I don't know if maybe this has to do with anxiety or getting um, overthinking, getting stuck in your head, maybe having the same thought patterns over and over again. This is really going to help you with that bloodstone. Uh, get rid of that old programming that could be even something that, um, I don't know if you live with your parents, but something that they're carrying around and that they're projecting onto you, all right? With the magician, I really feel like this could be a Gemini, but... This is also talking about you having everything you need in order to heal yourself, okay? You are able to create any reality that you would like, okay? You could be very abundant with all of this yellow. I'm also being drawn to this infinity, so you could be also very powerful, especially with that Hierophant, all right? You could be someone that really knows how to manifest, um, but I think sometimes you get... Um, stuck in your head. Let's see. Yeah, the seven of swords. This is talking about uh, being bamboozled, as I say, 
but this is really sneaky behavior. This is someone um, being deceitful, um, lies. So I'm not sure if this is in regards to maybe this energy in the past here. But again, this is really um, talking about you clearing, right? Especially with that magician and changing the um, dialogue that is happening maybe between a family dynamic, right? Or maybe even between your... Uh, your church, um, I'm here in church for some reason, or a group of people that you um, belong to. So with the hanged man, um, you know, this is talking about a Pisces energy, but this is talking about meditation to get enlightenment, all right? So um, really focus on maybe doing some breath work, maybe doing yoga, getting back into your body with all of this red. And especially with the Ace of Swords, this is talking about um, speaking your truth, setting healthy boundaries, and starting something new, maybe having a new idea, or maybe having a fresh new perspective on things, okay? All right, with the Knight of Pentacles, this is talking about, again, um, a very abundant um, foundation being laid on. So this could be you, um, after you get some sort of enlightenment, you know, really getting an idea, that is going to be something long term that's going to bring you a lot of abundance. All right. And your ancestors, you know, especially with all of these beautiful minerals, you know, are going to be basically showing up and saying, yes, we are actually going to be sowing these seeds for you. Um, with the two of pentacles, you know, this could be maybe even choosing between two financial ideas. And I think this may be something that, um, is very turbulent this could be like okay maybe I should quit my job and start this project or this hobby right especially with that emperor that could be someone that's an entrepreneur um, or wants to be um, but this is really going back and forth between should I do it you know should I make the big leap right uh, and be this magician right or am I just tricking myself am I just lying to myself you know and I think that's really forcing you to go within and I think you're ultimately going to choose, you know, um, what feels right for you maybe in the long run, especially with that night. Okay, that's something that's going to manifest to be very abundant, but over a long period of time, okay? Um, with the Three of Swords, this could be talking about a heartbreak. Maybe this job um, or this person, you know, whatever your situation is, was very painful and very hurtful and it really, um, you know, was challenging for you. Um, okay, so you have 2-2. Two, two. So maybe look up that angel number, all right? Um, and you also have 444, four, four. so maybe also look up that angel number. Um, but with the nine of swords and the two of swords, okay, I'm really getting that you're having a lot of mental anxiety, especially with that nine of swords. Maybe you're not sleeping very well. Um, maybe you're having nightmares. Um, you know, you could just be very stressed out, but yeah, this is talking about making some sort of decision and really trying to be at peace with it. But, um, I feel like this blindfold is letting me know that maybe you're not seeing things clearly. All right. All right. Yeah. Heavy emphasis on the Pisces. So yeah, you could be dealing with someone that's also a hierophant, um, in the sense that, right. Cause I got bo both of my divine feminine and masculine like the high priestess is someone that is basically um a priest right but a female version in that sense and this is the male version right so um <laughs> wow this is really powerful maybe whoever you're dealing with um you know if this is a love reading could have had strong aries placements in their chart um or even you know heavy emphasis with the hangman because sometimes that can be aries energy as well um, I read it that way, um, but I'm really feeling like, you know, this connection is not only a very powerful one, but there was probably a little bit of deception, and now you're contemplating if you want to take this person back, you know, and I think, you know, your angels are really asking you to look within and focus on your healing, right? Yeah, setting healthy boundaries, making sure that you, right, what's, what's the price of treason? Off with their head. So I really feel like this is you um, standing in your power, you speaking your truth, all right? And especially with this carnelian, really 
clarifying any miscommunications and standing up for yourself, okay? You are going to be a very prosperous and abundant person, whatever you choose to do, all right? So have no fear. Your guides are here. Um, <laughs> but yeah, you're someone that could also be a Taurus, heavy emphasis on the Taurus, because we did have the Hierophant, all right? So you could be someone that's a Taurus that is very abundant, um, but really focus on clearing a lot of um, wounding. And this could even be past life wounding or even programs that you're not even aware that you're running um, in your mind. All right. That is what I have for you, pile number two. And again, really focus on working with those crystals. Going to move on to pile number three. And I'm actually going to do a guided, um, I'm just feeling really called to do this. I'm uh, feeling called to do a guided, uh, what's it called? You know, how, how to move whatever you're going through in a positive direction. That's really what I'm feeling. Thank you, Tom. Welcome, Pile 3. Thank you for tuning in. So if you chose this pile, you could have a very strong connection to animals. You could love animals. You could work with animals. You could just um, enjoy to be around animals and not have one, okay? Or maybe you can't have one because you're allergic, whatever it is. Um, you have an affinity with animals, okay? So if you chose this deck, you um, could also be someone that is very empathic, has a lot of great instincts, okay? Because animals are very instinctual, all right? Um, they also carry a lot of creation energy, all right? Because they are so raw and powerful um, because they have their own little worlds that they live in, right? So you could be very much like that. Um, I'm really feeling introverted energy, okay, and very observant. So I don't know if I'm connecting with someone that's in a very warm place. Um, but let's see what we have here. All right, so funny. <laughs> that's. I felt like I was seeing things th from like a frog's perspective. So, um, you know, frog is really talking about uh, clarity. This is talking about cleansing your space, cleansing your aura, maybe even working with a little bit of obsidian. Okay. I always, um, I always, uh, feel very connected to obsidian because I feel a lot of strong healing power. Okay. You're also someone with the frog that is able to cleanse haunted places. You could be a shaman you could be trying to get into that practice. You could just be someone that is very spiritual, but you do carry this energy of being able not only to have a very close uh, connection with the water, or maybe you are someone that works with the water, around the water, or has been, um, I'm hearing lifeguard, maybe a swim instructor, something along those lines, because I'm really being drawn to these little droplets right here. Okay, I'm also really being drawn to this beautiful white um, stripe. I don't think I've ever seen that. So you could be someone that um, is just very, very unique, all right? Very beautiful in a very unique way, all right? But with the prairie dog, I feel like you are someone that is very family-oriented. Um, you know, the prairie dog is really asking you to bring awareness to the present moment, the prairie dog is a wonderful communicator, so you could be a Gemini, uh, Libra, or Aries, okay? I'm not Aries, oh, maybe an Aries, but um, <laughs> uh, what was it? Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius, my bad. But with the crow, this is also talking about, um, you know, conquering your fears, maybe addressing some shadow work, okay, and really being able to... Um, not be afraid of doing the shadow work, right? It's really uncomfortable um, to do shadow work because who wants to sit in 
you know, uh, feel guilty about things that they have and haven't done. Again, my neighbor just went out, so I just heard those bells. So I feel like that's a confirmation, um, at least for me on this end. But with the badger, this is talking about healing. I'm really being drawn to these white and black stripes. I feel like this is calling for balance, okay? Balance of the light, right? With this frog being able to clear and cleanse. Maybe even your soul, maybe even doing a spiritual cleanse or, um, you know, asking for holy water or, you know, just going to church even, especially with this prairie dog. You know, prairie dogs have a strong community, so maybe connecting with your community um, to really help you see the light so that you can be this healer, right? Because the badger is uh, someone that is very connected to the earth, very connected to the roots specifically of the earth. Um, of trees, of plants, of shrubs, you know, badgers are very, very intuitive with the roots that they eat, okay? They love roots and, um, again, roots have a lot of healing properties. Um, I really feel like I'm connecting with the masculine energy in specific. I don't know if you do some if you are someone that's a conduit as well or if you're someone that does a lot of spiritual work, okay, and is connected in a very um powerful community, okay, of healers, all right? Cuz this is my healer card. This is my healer card. This is someone that is clear audience as well, so maybe you can hear things, all right? But yeah, you're definitely connected to um, the creator, all right? With the crow, this is talking about re really, really honoring the laws of the universe, okay? Or maybe having a deep knowledge of the laws of the universe and how things work and why things are set up the way that they are set up. I am looking for, <laughs> I couldn't find it, my good old <laughs> Rider Waite cards here, okay? I know, it is interesting. I told you, Auntie, I wasn't sure what I'm going to get. Each one is so different. I really feel like this is asking you to do shadow work, to cleanse your aura, you know, to go be around your family, be around your friends, obviously, safely with COVID. But yeah, maybe you're a healer with that. Or maybe talk to a healer, find a healer, someone that can really help you work through what it is that you need to address with that shadow, all right? Look how this crow is looking at this shadow. That's really what I'm feeling, all right? I'm, I'm looking at the numbers now. You know, six. I'm not really seeing any numbers stand out to me, but maybe the numbers are gonna stand out to you. I'm looking at the shells, right? The feathers. I know it was a general reading. These are just general readings. Um, <laughs> do you think I should do more of these, you guys? I kind of like this. I feel like it's it's a good way to kind of get more people involved. And then um, if we want, we can like obviously do the Snoopy Snoop. <laughs> oh my gosh, yeah. I hope, I hope she's still around, you know, and if she's not, she's definitely with you. And if she is still around, she's definitely still with you in spirit, okay? Those things can happen. That's how my grandma was. Before she passed, she was more in the spirit world. Like, when I, I like, like, in the spirit world, I mean, like, dreams. Like, I would have dreams about her. Like, she, she wasn't able to walk towards the end of her um, career, as I say, but her life. Um, and so I really felt like she could sleep and really be free. So I really, I really, she was always with me, to be honest. Um, I can smell her energy sometimes, which, um, makes me just very emotional, but I just breathe through it because I also get really happy that I know that she is, um, still very much with me. All right. Yeah, I love my grandma. She's actually the one that, when my, com not my computer, my phone malfunctions, she's the one that's um, on my screensaver. <laughs> yeah, no, she, I know she's with me. 
She was also a Leo. We were born like nine days apart. Well, like obviously years apart, but like our birthdays were nine days. So we would always be celebrating. My goodness. Okay, wow. Um, just, I, yeah, we're speaking of the, of the people that have passed. So, well, all right. So let me get this show on the road here. All right. So, oh my goodness, we got the Page of Cups, okay, so you could be someone that is very young, all right, um, you know, I, I don't know why I'm getting, you know, heavy emphasis with this water, I really feel like you could be either um, <laughs> any water sign, but really a Pisces, um, but, you know, I'm really being drawn to this fish, I don't know if you're talking to someone, or if you're interested in someone, or if someone's whispering in your ear, right? This is also talking about gossip, potential gossip. Um, <laughs> all right, but yeah, with this Queen of Pentacles, this is talking about someone that is very um, stable, someone that is very nurturing, someone that really can um, produce results, all right? Um, maybe you're a Capricorn. I've really never noticed this, like, goat thing. I don't know if you guys can see it, this, like, goat. All right, um, but you're a very hard worker. All right, I associate goats with Capricorn specifically, um, and Capricorns are like literally the hardest uh, working zodiac signs. Um, for real, for real. Okay, they know how to make things uh, happen. All right, so with the Six of Cups again, this is talking about um, heavy water energy. All right, but past life connections past friendships, uh, childhood, uh, relationships, okay, with other people. But yeah, with the nine of pentacles, this is also talking about being very abundant. Maybe you're someone that's single right now, okay? And the fact that you're coming out as the queen of pentacles and the nine of pentacles, you're sitting pretty. And maybe you're the talk of the town or a lot of people really see um, I don't know why I'm feeling a lot of Pisces, but yeah, you're someone that has a lot of spiritual gifts, okay? Could be very intuitive, um, but yeah, it's someone that is very grounded as well, all right? <laughs> and that doesn't surprise me, again, with the, the instincts, especially choosing this pile, um, and, you know, maybe you belong to a network or you have a powerful connector, um, or a connection, especially with this Six of Wands, okay, this is talking about victory, but I'm really feeling community, like a heavy, heavy emphasis on community. I think this is your energy, how you're looking, right, how others perceive you, um, and I'm really getting, like, be just grateful for all of this abundance that you get, right, because you are victorious, you are this Six of Wands. Um, I'm really also being drawn to this horse, Okay, horses represent like shamanic powers. Horses represent um, transcendence. Okay, dancing with the, in the purple rain. Hey there. Um, yes, there's a line. Okay. Oh, funny. Mine passed like in August. Well, it's not, I mean, it's not funny, but like, you know what I mean, Tom? Like, <sighs> it's hard. This year is hard. Um, oh, well, we're not going to talk about her anymore. Why are all these cards backwards? Like, Lord, oh my goodness. Okay. So with this, um, this is also my Leo card. This is talking about someone that, again, could be a water sign. You could have been dealing with a water sign. Or maybe this water sign is someone that is very popular, okay? Um, with the Ten of Swords. I'm really feeling, um, you know, maybe you felt some sort of betrayal, okay? Maybe this community that you were connecting with or were connected to um, betrayed you in some way. Yeah, but you're going to be getting justice. Could be also be dealing with a Libra, all right? But this is a sort of truth and the sort of power, all right? And with the scales, I really feel like you are going to be getting... Um, what's rightfully yours okay this could also be court cases and court cases ruling in your favor i don't know if you're someone that um is a lawyer specifically 
Um, but yeah, with the lovers, this is Gemini energy. You know, I really feel like this is talking about with the crow honoring the sacred law, honoring the, the union between yourself and maybe another. All right. And really, I think honoring yourself and knowing that you are protected by the angels because I'm really seeing this beautiful angel up top. Okay. It's a very beautiful angel. And definitely with the yellow. Okay. We got a lot of yellow being very abundant. Maybe you are a very abundant person. Maybe you um, provide a lot of abundance as well for other people. Okay, yeah, but with the Eight of Swords, you're overthinking something. This is getting stuck in your head. Um, my kitty cat just decided to freak me out. <laughs> um, but let's see. Yeah, maybe you're just on edge. You know, that was me. That put me on edge, all right? So I don't know if you're on edge or if you're dealing with something. Maybe if you're dealing with another person or another connection, this could be talking about um you know three people all right and maybe being betrayed by that but you are going to be getting your you know justice um that you should be receiving yeah and with the temperance i feel like this is asking you to do healing okay going within healing yourself um and again heavy emphasis you know i really feel like this is the same angel watching over you okay this this is my sagittarius card as well you know, pick up your crown. I really, you know, this person's wearing a crown. This person's wearing something over, you know, this is my pre-empress card or pre-emperor card, you know. And, um, you know, pick up the crown, okay? Especially with that head glowing up here. I really feel like that's asking you to meditate. Yeah, with the Ten of Cups, I also feel like, you know, once you temper yourself out, you're going to be able to really be moving into a space of union with yourself okay and i think that has to do with the you know knowing the karmic laws i'm also feeling like maybe you might even be some sort of karmic lord able to really under because you understand the rules and the laws and um you know this could be someone that's a biochemist you know in that sense like someone that really understands the laws of you know physics and the laws of chemistry and you know all the theories that are put into practice you know, you could be someone that, because you know those things, I'm, I feel like I'm connecting with a Virgo now, um, you know, that's really something that's going to bring a lot of union, right, in yourself, you're going to be getting out of this, like, in your head energy, maybe you're just studying a lot, right, and you're going to be balancing things out within yourself, and you're ultimately going to be providing yourself the happy life that you're trying to do, that could be one way that, right, this reading goes, the other way that I'm really seeing it, um, you know, if you were dealing with someone, they were your Ten of Cups, you know, but now you're going to have to walk away, okay? Could have even been a Sagittarius because with my Eight of Cups, this is letting me know that you're choosing to walk away from whatever this is. Maybe this was something that, um, you know, I'm always intrigued why someone would want to walk away from this Ten of Cups. It could have been maybe... <laughs> you know, maybe there's some sort of healing work that has to do with, I'm getting like abandonment issues, okay, so really focus on your root, really focus on connecting with the earth, really focus, right, so funny, because um, Badger is all about roots, right, really focus on connecting with your ancestors even, and building on solid foundations, okay, so I don't know if you maybe weren't building on something that was solid, but this is really asking you to focus on building on solid foundations so that you can avoid um, whatever tower moment this is, okay? I'm going to clarify a little bit more. Just feeling a little snoopy. Yes, there is high unknown rows. So um, we have a list. Oh, my goodness. Okay, so this is talking about making some sort of judgment. I don't know if you passed judgment on something that, um, you know, was kind of like a death rebirth renewal cycle for you okay and i think you're choosing happiness for you you to provide your own happiness with the judgment this is talking about um <laughs> of like instant attraction okay this is also my scorpio card but i also associate it with um sagittarius okay um what else? What am I being drawn to? I don't know if you like to play the trumpet or if you play some sort of wind instrument. Um, I was listening to a trumpet earlier, 
think it was, no, it wasn't Louis Armstrong. Who was it? It was this very famous um, trumpet player. You guys will have to um, let me know here. Yeah, with the Seven of Cups, this is talking about confusion or having too many options. Okay. And yeah, this is asking you to meditate and to go within, okay? Yeah, <laughs> go within, right? This is the pre-empress. Now you're showing up as the empress, okay? So I feel like whatever you were going through, the best thing for you to do, right? The highest message I get out of this is sit in your power, right? Because you are this queen of pentacles. If you're single, stay single. You know, maybe the options right now with COVID, it's a little weird to have a connection with anybody. Um, I don't know if you're dealing with a Libra, you have your eye on a Libra or someone that has strong Libra or Leo placements, okay? But this is someone that is very well connected in their community or is just very popular, all right? Could be a Gemini, but yeah, with the eight, um, you know, and the tower and then, you know, the hermit, I really feel like this is asking you to meditate, all right? So I feel like whatever turbulent time happened, you're going to be moving um, in a more positive direction because uh, who does the Empress wait for? Nobody, right? You know, they make things happen. Um, so that is really what I'm feeling for you, my dear. Yes, Greta, I will start taking questions now. Um, I'm going to do one more reading. So this is going to be for all three piles. All right. I got this lovely new tray. Okay. So I actually found it in um, the garage, like the garbage dump. And I like, it was basically new. They were just like set on the side. I washed it and everything. Um, so don't worry. Yeah, they're not gross. I wouldn't put my beautiful pristine cards on that. Um, all dirty. But I actually did like a little upcycle project. So they all, it has pennies all on the bottom. I love it. It was like a two-day project thing. Because um, <laughs> all the pennies had to like face a certain way so that the illusion was... Anyways, I'm just rambling. But let's see. Let's see what messages we're going to get. So this is what healing work could we all do with the messages that we got, okay? Because some of them were really powerful. They were all very unique, okay? And they all definitely had um, different messages, you know? One more time is what I heard. Yes, we need patience, okay? We did our breathing. All right. Star mother, how can you mother yourself? Okay, this is a new deck that I got. Um, the person that made it is Rebecca Campbell, okay? And this is Work Your Light Oracle. All right, so this is asking you, how are you mothering yourself, okay? I was having this conversation um, with one of my friends earlier, her name is Kiki, and um, her mother actually passed. So, you know, I was like, you know, how are you mothering yourself? Because um, she literally doesn't have a female uh, role model. You know, her mother um, is no longer with us in physical form. Um, you know, I, I was really asking her and working through... Um, a lot of things with her in regards to her loving herself first, right? Her showing up for herself, her being in that queen of swords energy, right? Um, not dealing with BS, okay? Not taking um, BS as well from other people, really having healthy boundaries, really communicating clearly with people and cutting things out that no longer serve her, okay? That's how I, you know, I took it as like, okay, if I was your mother right or if my mother was here and they were aware of the situation that was going on what would they say to you first and foremost and do you think that they would be okay with what is going on um 
in regards to whatever your situation is. All right, so this is really asking you to love yourself, okay? If you heard my chatty video, okay, this is asking you to love yourself. Really focus on healing yourself from within, okay? Especially with that hermit card, especially with that, um, you know, hierophant energy. These are talking about union within, all right? So, and my left hand is now like pulsating, so I really feel like, very he heavy emphasis on female energy, maybe even connecting with your female side, um, the crumbling, okay? This is my tower card, but this is really letting me know, um, you know, that you are being cracked open, and maybe there's something that is really challenging to let go, but, you know, I'm really being drawn to this beautiful um, pathway you know, almost parting of the sea type of energy, right? There's like very challenging times if you aren't balanced, all right? I really feel like this is asking you to be balanced. With all these lovely roses, I really feel like this is connecting again with the mother, Mary Magdalene, okay? Or even Anna, which is Jesus's grandmother. She's someone that I think is very underrated in a lot of... um scriptures and i don't think she's really um honored as much as she should be right because she was the one that was laying the consciousness the christ consciousness um you know foundations okay this is also talking about foundations with that tower i think that last reading we had uh we had the hierophant and we had the tower okay you could be a scorpio but this is really asking you to transform a situation and really view it in a higher perspective. All right, with the pillar of light, this is letting me know that you are learning these patterns, these cycles, okay? You are ascending, you are rising, you are the oracle, okay? You could be a mother yourself, you could be someone that is expecting, okay? You could just be someone that is learning how to love themselves. And what that really looks like to you, okay? But this is letting me know that you are the magician, okay? You are the oracle. You are the mystic, okay? You have got this, okay? I'm feeling the magician energy. You have everything you need in order to succeed. Wow, okay, dance with life. So I don't know if you're a dancer, if you like to just move, I'm really feeling a lot of yoga, maybe doing these forms of therapy, okay? But this is asking you to literally move your energy um, and transform that, okay? Like, like physically, like maybe even dancing, maybe even doing kudalini yoga, really focusing on getting every single part of your body involved, all right? And really connecting with your breath. All right, those are the lovely healing messages I have for you guys, okay? Focus on your breathing, focus on your self-love, maybe get more physical, physical, right? You got to move your body, got to be active, but we are going to be moving on to the open questions. All right, so um, let's see, auntie, are you here? Auntie, Auntie, no, I'm we're just starting. We are just starting. I had to just do a general reading for everybody. We're waiting for Miss Auntie here. Got to try to get my hoodie all comfortable. My goodness. Okay. All right, Auntie. You know how we roll. So I will be using my favorite Archangel um, Tarot. All right. Everybody knows this is my go-to deck. So, Auntie, your energy feels very clear right now. It feels very crisp 
is the word I would say. Chris, what else am I picking up? What else am I picking up? You're very sharp right now. Hi, Monica. We are just starting the individual readings, okay? I just wrapped up the collective readings. I'm trying to think. Maybe you're thinking. Maybe you're focusing on concentrating. Okay, maybe you got a good idea that you're trying to figure out how you're going to manifest. Decision, yeah, okay, so maybe you have some sort of decision to make. Connect with Archangel Jophiel, also the color purple. This could be talking about your intuition. Amethyst, I'm wearing amethyst as well, so this could be also talking about um, clearing your aura. All right, um, this is learning hard lessons. I feel it. Like, I can't remember if this is the um, Saturn sign. I think it is, but I can't be certain. All right, so I feel like you are liberating part of yourself or you are working on freeing yourself and releasing anything that is holding you back, all right? This is also asking you to focus on your self-confidence, so doing your I am's, connecting with the color yellow, really focusing on what it is that makes you feel confident and bringing awareness to that. Okay, heavy emphasis with the purple. You could need a lot more spiritual protection or really focus on keeping your spiritual protection up. But this is asking you, again, with that magician energy, you could have been watching the readings before. Um, but this is talking about you being able to manifest whatever reality you want to manifest, all right? And this is letting me know that whatever project you may be starting or thinking about starting, go for it, okay? This is letting me know that it is a blessed path that you are choosing. And I'm really seeing this... Um, what is it like a lantern like the magic lantern that you rub and you can have a genie i feel like this is almost like aladdin energy i'm really getting aladdin vibes i don't know if you like aladdin i was just thinking about aladdin earlier today as well um i was thinking about watching it on disney plus um <laughs> so let's see this is with the two of ariel this is talking about balancing making work Fun. This is also letting me know that your angels, right, are watching over you, okay? And this is letting me know that this is asking you to balance, you know, having fun and working, okay? Or doing a lot of school projects and having time for you to be on your own, all right? That's what I'm seeing for you. Um, I see a lot of positivity. You're right. You know, I feel like you are working on your self-confidence. You are doing the shadow work. You are doing the steps that are needed to heal and move forward. I don't know if you've already made a decision or are trying to make a decision about something, right? Um, but this is letting me know that you will be either moving into this magician energy or you are already in this magician energy, Okay, but because you are in this ability to manifest uh, a lot of things in a very speedy and efficient manner, this is um, letting me know that, right, you got to stay balanced, all right? Really focus on staying balanced. I don't know if this is um, an idea about starting some sort of new career, especially with all this coin stuff. Trick, like money is literally just overflowing it's on the ground maybe even building a legacy um luck right now is on your side so i don't know what your placements are um you know this could also be changing your job or your promotion my two of pentacles is that person that's balancing one pentacle up here and one pentacle down here and it's in this beautiful figure eight but the right, the water behind it is turbulent. So I don't know if there's having, um, you're having some sort of turbulent time trying to make some sort of transition. Okay. Yes, definitely protect yourself spiritually. Like it is not a joke out here. Like people really, I had literally someone, oh my God, this is, I can't even believe I'm talking about this. Like I swear, this is probably the last time I'll ever bring this up. But I had someone that 
did a graveyard ritual and they literally told me um, because they felt bad about it. And I, I was like, that totally makes sense why all of a sudden I had all of these issues that were never issues um, before and I took the steps that I needed to in order to protect myself, my energy, my friends, um, my assets, my business. You know, um, I cut ties with this person. I really just focused on what it is that I had to do. This is annoying. There's like this weird bot. <laughs> I had this shit earlier today, okay? It was really fucking annoying. Ugh. I don't think someone's trying to do anything. Maybe if that's what's resonating, just focus on, you know, keep your prayers up. You should be protecting yourself if you feel safe or not safe period you know that has to do with faith you don't go to your faith when you're feeling low you go to your faith when you're feeling high and low you know that's just how i see it um it's it's literally i view it as a as just like a friendship you know as any relationship i really view the angels and the saints you know as my friends and i really don't hang out with a lot of people outside of that you know my friend kiki um you know, I, I actually met her at a at a party, at a get-together that one of my other friends brought me to. And she's the one that told me that her mom passed, you know. And it was so interesting that she came uh, right up to me, very outgoing. I would have never expected something like that. And she just um, opened up, you know. So, yeah, really stay connected to your spirits, all right. Okay, let's clarify. Yeah, the King of Swords, this is talking about a Gemini energy, but this is also talking about having very clear boundaries, communicating very clearly as well. Okay, this is talking about with the Ten of Wands, putting down a heavy burden. Okay, so maybe with this decision, you had to um, cut things out that were no longer bearing fruit and you needed to detox. Okay, or maybe you do need to detox, but with the Seven of pentacles this is talking about making some sort of investment okay or maybe you are waiting to see if you have some sort of investment right yeah maybe you didn't get the investment that you wanted with the ten of swords and now you're feeling like maybe this wasn't a good um investment to be had in the first place yeah okay so you have ten ten so I don't know, um, Auntie, if you've been seeing that number uh, recently or if that number means anything to you. Um, could be a birthday as well. But with the Five of Wands, I feel like this is talking about conflict. This is talking about competition. You know, this is talking about not seeing eye to eye, all right? So I don't know if there's something that you're having a hard time communicating or that you have communicated something overly um clear right crystal clear and it's causing some sort of conflict but yeah i see you you know tens are endings okay you have two of the tens so um so with the knight of cups i really feel like this is um talking about moving forward in a new emotional way yeah and making some sort of decision and i think this is talking about um you know maybe going back to your investment um because you might have invested maybe even physical money in this connection um if this is a business reading but yeah i really feel like with the hermit you're really being called to go within you're really being called to be a light to other people to lead by example this is virgo energy you could be a virgo you could be dealing with the Virgo, you know, take it how it resonates. But with the Six of Cups, again, this could be someone that you've had a lot of uh, a long-term relationship with. This could also be someone that is, um, <laughs> you know, from your past, okay? That could be an ex. That could also be someone from childhood. Or this could be connecting with someone from childhood. But yeah, with the Five of Cups... You know, Auntie, I feel like whoever this person was is crying over spilled milk. 
Yeah, I think that's what this this is, to be honest. Yeah, and you're getting your wish fulfillment. You know, you're moving towards your destiny, all right? And my left ear is ringing really, really loud. So heavy emphasis on maybe even connecting with, like, the feminine side. You could be a, a Leo, Aries, or Sag with this uh, Queen of Wands. You could also love uh, cats, or you could have a cat, all right? But yeah, you're expanding and you're really going to be moving forward, all right? Especially with this Aquarius. You could be an Aquarius um, or have strong Aquarius placements, all right? But yeah, you're in this Eight of Swords. Like, did I make the right choice? Am I being too strict? You know, I think maybe you're questioning yourself. This is getting stuck in your head. This is overthinking to me. This is a lot of stress. Um, I feel like, you know, you are able to you're going to be one freeing yourself from whatever thought pattern this is right detoxifying um maybe even protecting your energy specifically because people are mad people are mad because you are taking back your power and you're going to be standing in your power okay um and you know if they are your friends then they will honor that and they will be like yeah i can totally respect your boundaries it's really good if i can actually um, put my needs aside and respect your boundaries. Yeah, but if they can't, then they weren't really your friends to begin with. Um, and you don't want people like that in your life. Or maybe you do if you like that kind of stuff. I don't know. Everybody has free will. I personally don't. So um, <laughs> take it how it resonates, okay? Um, all right. So next, I believe... Um, Is it Tom? Tom Cruise. Tom Cruise. Tom. <laughs> Tom, it's your turn. Yeah, just stand in your power, auntie. That's what I'm feeling for you. Wait, I gotta make sure. Yep, I was doing it right. That's annoying. Oh, well. Oh, Tom, you know I'm always ready to snoop. I can't take out those other cards. Yep, that weird silent petty energy. I think we're all familiar with it. <laughs> feeling bro did you guys go to the mall or something or were you guys like in a public ass space like a hallway tom right now it's tom's turn tom Tom. <laughs> Tom. Bro, where are you? <laughs> um Tom is the moderator, so Oh, you guys are cracking jokes and stuff. Okay, okay. Tom Tom would know, okay? Tom is the moderator and he's the one that put the um the cue together. All right, guys. Oh, I'm sorry, Tom. I always forget that. Okay, now all the cards are popping out. All right. Tom, what's your story? <laughs> I'll set these aside. I forgot. I should shuffle these ones. Let's see. I really want to use the, that other deck, so I might just screen the cards, okay? If it's inappropriate, I, I won't show it, but um, if, it's, <laughs> if it's not too inappropriate, like PG-13... Um, 
then I will show it to you. Okay, Tom? Yes, I, I believe you can, my dear. All right, you got the nine of Gabriel. This is the nine of wands. This is talking about being very determined, moving forward with your plans, and also being prepared for any possibility. Wow, okay, you got Archangel Gabriel coming through strong, so there's still a lot of passion, all right, because my wands are my passion, all right, and they're also the phallic symbol, all right, especially with this ace of wands, all right, um, you definitely uh, have a very strong attraction for M still, okay, she is uh, definitely able to to get your juices flowing, um, if that makes sense. So this is also letting me know that you got a chance with her, right? She's she's feeling you, okay? Look at how she's moving that wand over there, all right? Um, I don't know if you guys have or have not been intimate, but that could also be a possibility. Um, uh, Tom, what is the cue? Where's Tom? Okay, hold on. Okay, this is this is the, the last list I have. All right, this is the list that I just found. There's a 15 second delay. Oh, it's just lemonade. Um Oh, goodness gracious. I, I'm not sure. Tom was supposed to be the moderator. Um, let's quickly move back here. We'll figure it out. Tom probably is having some sort of... Um... Yeah, no, nobody lied. I think it just gets a little confusing because um, I'm not keeping up with the conversation as much as I probably should. Um, I'm guilty of that, but I just really want to make sure that I do give the reading that I am seeing. Um, yes. Oh, yes, and we'll add Stella. Um, okay, so Monica is on there. Angel is on there. Greta is on there. Rose is on there. Um, Stella. We'll put Stella. All right. Am I missing anybody? Am I missing anybody? No, I don't think so. Okay, I think I think this is the the line out. I, I think Tom will probably um, clarify. All right, but moving back, um, thank you guys. No, I really appreciate it. You guys are like wonderful. Like literally, um, I just want to make sure we're all on the same page. Yes. Okay. So that is the list. All right. So um, let's uh, let's continue Tom's reading here. All right. So with the world, this is talking about having the outcome that you are expecting. Fortune is smiling upon you. Okay. Um, things are coming full circle. Right. So maybe she wasn't interested. Now she's kind of interested. And now. You guys could definitely, right, with this ace, um, really be starting something new, okay? Um, but yes, this is letting me know that maybe she has grown or you have elevated your energy, um, right? Because this is talking about spiritual growth and insight. All right, so yeah, with the high priestess, this could be talking about you really working on your intuition, especially with all this purple you really working on your sacral as well or really being connected to your um, reproductive organs, okay? Um, but this is letting me know that you have found some sort of peace. I don't know if you've made peace within yourself, if you are peaceful within yourself now because you have been doing um, the spiritual work or maybe even just like us talking, Tom. You know, we've been talking about this for some time and I feel like maybe... Um, you've gotten a higher perspective just from working um, your thoughts and bouncing, bouncing that off of somebody else, okay? that's I know that's really helpful for me. Um, 
Okay, this person could also have strong Pisces placements or you could have strong Pisces placements. Um, but this is asking you to really reflect. Okay, I'm really being drawn to this water and to really meditate, okay? And balance, stay balanced within yourself with those pillars, right? Be your own pillar. So to clarify this, goodness gracious, I don't know how these all get backwards. My hands are getting itchy as well. So maybe, um, you know, this is a very abundant connection, like a lot of money. <clears throat> all right, but with the justice, I'm really feeling like, yeah, this is you, right? Um, <laughs> you're being very charming. You're, you're coming off as someone that's very, very balanced. Okay, yeah, and <laughs> with the Ten of Wands, my goodness, you went from the nine to the ten, right? You're putting down this burden, all right? And look, you have the world twice, okay? This happens a lot in my readings. Um, so this is letting me know that, right, you're, it came out in reverse, so that could be maybe choosing not to end the cycle and have a new beginning um, and moving forward in a higher perspective, right? But, you know, I don't really like to take reversals, so I feel like, you know, this is, again, having the happy ending that you want, you being that powerful manifester, you work in your magic, that's really what I'm hearing, you finessing, right, you finessing and working your magic, all right, but yeah, with this queen of swords, I know I was feeling her energy earlier, um, you know, I really feel like you have put very clear boundaries, or they have put very clear boundaries, M has, um, and you guys are communicating in a very compassionate way, but you're also cold about it, you know, not in a bad way, I mean, like, in a good way, like, you're cold, you know, when someone's cold, and their shit's, like, fresh, and, like, you're just, like, dang, they're so cold, like, dude, I can't even handle it, like, it's, it's, like, one of those, okay, all right, but with, yeah, with the two of pentacles, we've been seeing this a lot, this is talking about making some sort of decision, she might even be juggling you, bro, I'm not saying that she is, but, She's trying to make some sort of decision, and, you know, the pentacles do talk about money. But, yeah, she is coming out as this queen of wands, the hot mama. You know what I'm talking about, all right? Yeah. Okay, this is, <laughs> this is uh, lies, deceit, all right? Yeah, and you have two twos, so I don't know if angel number two two means anything, but you also have a queen, two queens, all right? Um, so maybe now you're dealing with two people and you're going to have to make some sort of decision, okay? Because maybe somebody else that wasn't giving you the time of day now wants your energy all of a sudden. Yeah, and this is you coming in as a strength and you really having the strength to, you know, tame those juices again with that orange, that strong sexual, um, reproductive connection, um, my goodness, yeah, but with the chariot, this is talking about conquest, all right, more cancer energy, so um, again, moving forward with a lot of vigor, um, this is talking about being victorious as well, all right, yeah, wow, all this yellow, I'm getting a lot of yellow, so being very abundant within yourself, moving forward. You know, you're pretty happy on your own. My Nine of Cups is my masturbation card, all right? I learned that by reading the Sexual Tarot, which is, um, I'm sure you guys have seen it. Okay, Mermaid Scale uses these, but we're just not going to be using them because they are pretty inappropriate. Um, my goodness, there was one card that just flipped over. Did it not? Okay, I guess it didn't. It'll, it'll come out if it's meant to be. But yeah, oh my goodness. Holy smokes. Yeah, bro. I I already know. I don't even want to say it out loud. I'm not going to put you on blast like that. You know what I mean? But we get it. You have the hots for M. You still got the hots for M. Okay, with the Ten of Pentacles... This is talking about, you know, happy wife, happy life, happy home, happy spouse. All right. Um, I think this person, yeah, I think you weren't kidding when you said this person is the one. Just be aware that um, don't be too compulsive. All right. People don't like when you're like coming off a little too strong on someone that you think is very attractive. 
But yeah, you're coming in hot and heavy, okay? Yeah. Anyways. <laughs> anyways, anyways. Um, yeah, this is talking about communicating passionately and in a very quick way. Dang. Oh, yeah, this person is your empress, okay? I think this person, was it you that had Libra or they, they had Libra? But yeah, um, <laughs> oh my gosh, yeah, this person is your empress, all right? They are, um, definitely your everything, right? This is the card that you want, but yeah, you are really in your power, Tom, about this, especially coming out with this, uh, yeah, you might be very pompous. Okay, Tom, I'm feeling some pompous energy. Are we in our ego today? Is that what we're doing? Is that where you're at today? You're feeling your ego? <laughs> I feel like you're in your ego, bro. Yeah, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Well, you, you're both of your energy is fluid at, the, at this point. Yes, Monica, you may, you may post. That is what I have for you, Tom. Uh, the the feelings are mutual. I'll do one card for you because I did I did get these specifically for Tom. All right, he kept asking me. Ever since I've been on here, he's been asking me about this M girl. I even want to meet this M girl. Wait. Okay, I don't know if she's Scorpio, but this is the card. Okay. It wasn't an inappropriate one, so I can show you about it. Okay, death is talking about some sort of transformation. Maybe she's going through some sort of transformation. All right, but yeah, here you go. This is you coming in. All right, as a strength. I feel like either you or her are going through some sort of transformation. And I think we were picking up on that last time we did our reading. All right? All right. Oh, you want to do the twin deck? Okay, okay. All right, Tom, all right. We'll do a quick little combo. I know I'm smiling too. You're making me smile because of this energy. I don't know. This, I don't know. I feel like this is some high school shit. You know, like I'm I'm cheesing over here. Like tee, like oh yeah, I have a crush on this. I don't know this light bulb over here. Like so, something dumb. You know what I mean? But like not dumb, just young love. Um, <laughs> yeah, we both are interested. We all are interested. Everybody on this channel here, we're all interested. And to be honest, anybody watching is probably a very elevated soul to begin with, okay? Um, so <laughs> stress is when the soul is screaming, but the flesh won't listen. Please don't mess this up for us. So I feel like with that, oh my goodness, yeah, masturbation card earlier. Tom, I mean... Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, bro. I'm really like, I'm cheesing like as if I was in high school again. It's good. It's youthful energy. It's, oh, it's charging me up. It's making me feel young and dumb again. But no, now I'm just an old hag at 26. Not even a hag. I'm roasting everybody that's older than me. Okay. But yeah, okay. I really feel like with this, she is really trying to stay on the righteous path, all right? I think she's finally seeing your worth, my brother. Yeah, either yeah, either you or her are up in your pride and ego. You know, um, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, right? There's these two people that are like, nah, I don't want to connect with you. But low-key, low-key, their inner child is like, oh. Oh, okay, yes, 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 one moment, one moment. I was just uh, wrapping up Tom's reading here. He just asked for a couple of twin flame here. Our souls already know each other, don't they? It's our bodies that are new. Yeah, it's just a matter of time, Tom, before you're victorious. Yeah, they're really doing some growing pains, okay? This is letting me know that the reason you guys aren't together is because they're trying to grow and they know what has to be done, right? Maybe they're finally realizing I have to show up for Tom the way that um, Tom needs me to show up for him, right? And maybe they were a little bit emotionally unavailable before. 
But yeah, they're trying to connect with you, all right? And they are your empress. All right, Tom, that is what I have for you, my dear. I am going to move on to Monica. Sorry, Monica, for the delay. Welcome. All right, so... Oh my, oh girl, this is, Tom, this is going to be a, some tea, everybody go get your, go get your popcorn, go get your lemonade, I'm, I'm excited, ooh, I'm excited, Monica, alright, let's see, I'm really feeling nosy tonight, I'm really feeling nosy, okay, let's see, let's see. Well, there's some flow. I think there's a little bit of uh, friction, okay? Definitely a lot of uh, communication. I don't know if that's with you or with that other person. Yeah, <laughs> you see me smiling over here. Yeah, I think whatever... You, you, I think you just had to be patient, you know? There was, I think, a, uh, an eclipse, like, maybe a couple days ago, so... Um, let's see. Three of Raphael. Yeah, this is talking about that third party situation, that being in a relationship for five years, okay? Um, this is talking about a community of friends, happy announcements, all right? Uh, regarding children or relationships. I don't know if this person... Yes, this is your reading, Monica. So I don't know if this person is um, expecting, okay, or maybe even has someone else on the side. No, you are good, Monica. No worries. No worries, okay? With the page of Raphael, this could be talking about you having to start a new emotional situation, all right? This is also... Um, you know, regarding uh, relationships or social invitations. I don't know. Um, all right, Tom. Have a good night. Um, this is also letting me know that you are someone that is very intuitive and has a lot of great insights. All right, you might be very dreamy. I'm getting a lot of Pisces energy. You know, your angels could be uh, definitely connected to Archangel Raphael or even the color green. You're someone that is also very gentle, loving, and open-hearted. All right. Maybe you like to cover your head as well. Um, a hijab, I think, is what it's called. I Please, if I said it wrong, correct me. Um, maybe you like to dress in that very traditional way or maybe you like the way uh, other people from different parts of the world uh, dress. All right. But with the four of coins, which is the four of Ariel, Ariel this is um, letting me know that you should focus on balancing, giving, and receiving in this connection. So I don't know if this is something that you want to work on. But, it, you know, this is asking me, you know, the four of pentacles is someone that is being selfish, someone that is being greedy, Um you know, with their abundance, and I really feel like maybe you should pull back your energy. Right, you you could be a Leo, but you could maybe be a, a very big daydreamer, or you could have strong um, Pisces placements in your chart. This person could also be a Pisces, um, but yeah, just take it how it resonates as well, all right? So at the bottom of the deck, wow, you have Archangel Raphael coming in strong, but this is talking about this being, um, you know, a very old connection. Um, this could even be some sort of past life connection. This is talking about new friends, embracing your inner child, maybe even doing inner child work. Um, or this is talking about having children or something in your childhood, okay? But we're going to clarify with the good old Rider weight here. Oh my goodness. Okay, so the high priestess came out. So I don't know if maybe we're, I feel like we're picking up on this karmic or the other person. I feel like this per, this other person could have been a Pisces, okay? Because, yeah, I think, I think this is the other person's energy. I think this is the other person's energy. I think right now we're picking up on the person uh, that has been in a relationship for five years. Wh who, what's his name? Shashi? Shashi? Monica, is it Shashi? Um, 
Um, so the person that, yeah, so the, so whoever he, his girlfriend is, yeah, oh my goodness, yeah, whoever this girlfriend is, yeah, they're a karmic, I'm just gonna let you know, they're a karmic, okay, because you got the six of cups coming out with the high priestess, okay, this person could even have, um, really strong, uh, intuitive gifts, okay, clear audience, um, I don't know. This could also be an older female, okay? Yeah, but who... Yeah, th there's heartbreak, okay? Do you see this heartbreak? There's also three. So look up angel number three, three. Maybe this karmic, the other person that's involved, right? It's you, him, and then the, the girlfriend, okay? This is the girlfriend. This is the energy that we're picking up on the girlfriend. So right now, I'm doing a reading on the karmic. So for some reason, she has a message that she, yeah, don't take him back. She has a message that she's trying to tell you right now. Because it also seems like she's heartbroken too. Okay? But yeah, look, look at her. She's coming out in reverse because these cards flew out. She's coming out as someone that um, is the nine of pentacles. Okay? And I think the reason why this person was looking for love outside of this connection was maybe because she was codependent. Okay? Okay? Um, I'm just saying it as it is, okay? And she was acting very maybe clingy, okay? Pisces tend to be very clingy. That's, um, I yeah, I don't, I really, not, nothing against Pisces, love them. Very intuitive, very sensitive, very connected to source. Um, but sometimes they're a little clingy. And, um, you know, I'm just someone that I just need my space. I'm kind of like a cat. Um, but yeah, they're coming out as the Queen of Pentacles in addition, okay? So this is letting me know this girl ain't got no money, okay? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and with the Hermit, this is letting me know that this person um, is not really willing to do the work that they need to do to heal uh, themselves first and foremost. Um, but, you know, this connection, all right? That's in regards to this, um, yeah, so maybe I'm, I'm picking up on your reading, Rose. Um, you know, sometimes that does happen, cross-watchers. Um, you know, sometimes cross-watcher energy can really uh, take over a reading. And, um, you know, I just always, that's why I try to do general, so that way people can kind of collectively choose a pile. So, yeah, with the nine of wands this is letting me know that this person is really having a burdensome time with this okay this is a lot of stress a lot of anxiety um a lot of confusion as well um yeah it, I, it this could be both of you guys you know this could be the message that both of you guys might need to hear as well it might vary from person to person a couple details might um be a little bit different but overall um, yes, no, this is your reading, Monica. This is, this is what I'm saying. This is your reading, but sometimes because there's a lot of people that watch, I, I, there's other energies that come through. I feel like this could be the person that you're, um, you know, uh, what was his name? Shak Shakar? Shashikanth? Shashikanth? I'm sorry if I didn't say, it. um, what's a nickname? What, what's a good nickname for him? Um, anyway, so, you know, this could be that relationship, but this is talking about that relationship that he, that he's in of five years is full of conflict. It, you know, I'm not really getting a lot of happiness. Okay. And I'm getting with this eight of cups, I'm getting, um, you know, you're walking away from all of this. Yeah, we got the Empress at the bottom of the deck. Yeah, because you're going to be walking towards your own happiness, okay? You're going from um, <laughs> Shashi, okay? So you're going, you're letting go of Shashi, and, right, you're moving away from this conflict, all this drama, all this stress, all this BS, and you're now moving into this Nine of Cups energy, which is you really being free, okay? You really stepping into what it is that brings you happiness all right i won't be taking these cards excellent so yeah so it, this is the past energy and this is 
This has to be your present, okay? So right now, what am I getting? What am I getting? Yeah, there. you could be dealing with a cancer, okay? You could be focusing on trying to figure out what the secrets were, all right? Maybe getting the truth of what happened. Yeah, but with the star, you know, this maybe was a faded connection that you had to just learn from. And right now you really are, you know, making a wish upon a star. Um, maybe you don't want to let this person go with the four of coins, okay? Maybe, you know, you had the six of cups come out twice. Um, so look up angel number six, six. But yeah, this is talking about having a new emotional beginning, okay? Heavy emphasis because, yeah, the nine of cups, all you need is one more cup. Yeah, <laughs> and then you're at the Ten of Cups. So I think he just, um, you know, I think he might have gotten in trouble with her, you know? Maybe he has his, her, his money tied up in something, and that's why he can't move from that relationship. Um, but yeah, this person, you know... Um, I'm, I'm still seeing that you are going to be the winner, is what I'm seeing. This is the Six of Wands is my winner card, okay? And you're going to have people giving you some sort of side eye. They're not going to be happy that you're the winner for some reason. But honestly, I feel like, yeah, with the King of Swords, you're putting down your, your boundaries. You're being very clear with how you're communicating, you know. Um, yeah, oh my gosh, yeah. <laughs> Whatever was going on before it does don't girl don't even it doesn't even matter don't it doesn't even matter you know um yeah but you know those third parties are what is giving you the blessings that you're getting now you know because that that's how the universe works like it will take something and crack you open in order to fill you up with something even better and more glorious all right but sometimes it's with a little bit of pain right getting cracked open isn't always fun. Um, so yeah, this Shashi, let him go, right? And I think if he does come back, because this person might try to come back, I don't think you're really going to want him. Like, look at look at this person's face. They're kind of like, their, their arms are crossed, their legs are crossed. They're like, I really don't. Yeah, you got options, you know? That's what I'm saying. Fake men leave us. That's what I'm saying. All right, but yeah, stand in your power. Keep expanding. All right, keep expanding. Keep growing. Yeah, and have this new beginning, all right? Yeah, he's going to try to come back with this Ace of Wands. He's going to try to come back. Okay, this is my this is a phallic symbol. Um and this is letting me know that um He's going to try to come back, but I just don't think you're really going to want this person, okay? Yeah, 666. Six, six. Okay, look up angel number 666. Six, six. Okay. He No, he's not going to leave her. I'm not seeing him leaving her. I think he's just going to want to come back to you because you're comfortable. You're showing up as this, you're, you're not only financially stable, right, and secure, you're somebody that's comfortable to this person. Yeah, this person is like, I think they're going to realize who you are to them, but I think you're going to be in this like self-love energy. Yeah, but again, with that three, it's a no-go. You got the three, three, three. Look up angel number three, three, three. Okay. But yeah, that's really what I'm feeling. And yeah, maybe look up angel number 5-5 five, five as well. And 9-9-9. So 9-9-9, five, 5 3 3 and 6-6-6. Six, six, six. Okay, look up those angel numbers. There's probably additional messages for you. Okay, but this is talking about you leaving him out in the cold and now he feels bad. I think this person just feels guilty, you know? Yup, mm-hmm. So, yeah, look up those angel numbers as well and see if there's anything else, okay? Because you got the high priestess, which is the number two as well. All right, Monica, that is what I have for you, okay? 
keep staying in this empress energy keep staying in this beautiful energy right here all right goodness gracious so who is next who is next Angel, 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 thank you, Unknown Rose. I love that. Love that look. Oh, he realized that you are the one for him, but it's going to be too late. Like, you're really about to be living your best life without him. Like, the message that I'm getting with that is you can't bring everybody that you want to go with you with you, you know? Like, everybody has their own life path. Hi, Angel. Welcome. Monica, um, I'm going to do Angel's uh, reading here. I can pull one after. All right, Angel, I don't know if you you have been writing a lot. Okay, but my left palm hurts. Thank you, Monica. No, I don't think you missed your turn, Greta. Um, we're moving slow because I'm only doing 10. So that means I can really be more intimate with the readings instead of trying to like power through them, if that makes sense. I really try to give helpful advice. That's what I'm here for. Um, let's see. Right now we're on Angel, all right? Everybody, everybody, welcome. Hit that like button, share, subscribe if you know anybody. All right. We got the nine of Ariel, okay? This is my nine of coins. This is talking about someone pre-empress. I don't know if they like unicorns. Thank you. Okay, and this is talking about um, doing a lot of hard work, okay? Being very successful because you're doing the hard work that needs to be done. Having a love for beautiful things. So I really feel like this is very Venetian energy, could have strong uh, Libra. Thank you so much, Angel. Um, placement as well. Maybe you like rainbows or maybe this is a very magical um, connection. Yes. So we're picking up on um, Alicia, right? Alisa? How do I say? Could you break it down? I really want to say this name right, you know? Um, okay. With the five of Ariel... This is letting me know that maybe you're feeling left out in the cold, all right? Or this is letting me know that you're moving from, um, you know, something that was maybe a little bit more dreamy because, right, these are clouds in the back. This is things that are in the dream world or maybe fantasy is what I'm hearing. Illusions, delusions is another thing. My nose is really itchy, so I don't know if this is someone that you think about a lot. Um, but be aware of any negative thinking. Um, and, you know, just remember that help is always nearby, all right? Um, let's see, what else? What else am I getting? Okay, with the King of Michael, this is letting me know that Michael's got your back. All right, this is also that you are being very rational, very ambitious. You might be very respected in your um, community or this person 
might be a um, a very respected member, okay? Take it how it resonates. But this is talking about being open and clear with your communication. This is about being objective and staying with your integrity. Excellent. Yeah, so definitely speak your truth. You're showing up as a very masculine energy, all right? With the seven of Ariel, okay, this is also talking about waiting on investments. So I think this is you waiting for her to come back into town, all right? Um, this is asking you to have patience and wait for the seeds that you have sown, okay, to bear fruit and to blossom, all right? This is asking you to review your plan. Um, and this is also asking you to focus on your future, regardless of whatever this situation is for you, okay? Um, but we're going to clarify with our lovely tarot. We have the Eight of Michael, and this is letting me know that you can be free, okay? You are making a very courageous choice to change the situation that you are currently in, all right? And maybe you you aren't seeing things clearly, right? If this person has someone else, like please honor that and honor them and respect their boundaries and stuff. Um, you know, if you aren't in communication and you don't know if this person even sees you in that way, right? You've maybe never approached them. Um, you know, bring awareness to that. Maybe try to really focus on um, what it is that you can do to bring friendship and unity into this connection, okay? Um, I did see this page of swords. So this is, um, you know, communicating. This is also my stocking card. So I don't know if you watch them a lot on social media. I'm not trying to put you on blast. Um, but this is also just really wanting to communicate your truth with them, okay? And having, again, that sense of urgency. I'm going to clarify with the rider weight here. But yeah, something with um, your right arm, okay? Yeah, funny, at the bottom of the deck we had the nine of pentacles, okay? So maybe look up angel um, number nine. All right, nine, nine. Trying to see if I'm getting anything else. See, so, yeah, I'm seeing a lot of blue, and that blue is talking about really speaking your truth. Archangel Michael, you know, um, working on your throat chakra, um, really liberating yourself through your throat, okay, by communicating. I really feel like uh, speaking your truth is going to set you free. Oh, my goodness, okay. Wow, we have an entire novel. <laughs> All right, let's see. What is going on? Yeah, that's good that you're writing. Um, you know, that's very helpful. Okay, so with the magician, this is talking about someone that is very powerful, very abundant. Gemini energy is what this is. All right, this is also letting me know that you have the power to change your situation at any moment all right because you are the magician with the three of pentacles this is letting me know that um you know this person could have strong taurus placements as well um especially with this nine of pentacles and the three of pentacles is talking about working as a team or working with multiple people all right this could be also having other people involved in the mix the Empress is coming out backwards, but we don't take reversals here. So, you know, this is talking about, again, heavy emphasis on Libra, Venetian, or Taurus energy, okay? Also, look at the number 3-3, three, three, okay? Because the Empress is the number 3, and right below behind that we have the number 3, okay? Yeah, oh my goodness, wow. Okay, look up the angel number 3-3-3, three, 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 all right? So this is letting me know that you are expanding your horizon. I think, you know, with waiting for this person to come back, I really feel like you are, um, 
I don't know why I'm feeling like you're blocked in your heart for some reason. I think you not speaking this is really blocking your heart, okay? Because this is something that really does mean a lot to you. <clears throat> With the five of Ariel, this is letting me know um, on top of the ten, okay, that um, you might have been feeling left out. Or you might even feel like you're missing out on this happy life with this individual. Okay, this individual really means a lot to you. Yeah, and with the Two of Cups, again, um, this is like my lover's card. This is really, you know, um, having a lot of feelings for this person. This person is really your wish fulfillment with that Ten of Pentacles. But, you know, if this is a healing reading, right? Because I always like to see the healing purposes um, you know, this is asking you to really focus on you building this Ten of Pentacles for yourself with this Two of Cups, you know, really loving yourself and wanting to um, make that commitment with yourself to really elevate your energy. But again, I think since you are seeing about how this person feels, you know, um, I feel like they are exploring these emotions with you i'm not seeing too many cups i'm seeing a lot of air energy which is very masculine okay and i'm seeing a lot of um earth energy which is very feminine um but it's also something that is really focusing on building things in the material world all right so yeah you have five five maybe look up angel number five five but what i see is this person is holding three swords okay so maybe angel number three, 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 three. Okay, but it looks like two people are walking away. Okay. This is like, I'm getting the sense of disappointment. Maybe there's some sort of disappointment. Okay, that has happened. All right. And maybe right now you guys are taking some sort of time out. But with the page of pentacles, you know, this is really asking about, you know, your finances. Focusing on your finances. Yeah, and... Look, the Eight of Cups is at the bottom of the deck and that's talking about walking away, you know. For me, the Eight of Cups is talking about detoxifying, focusing on clearing your chakras, focusing on self-love, making sure that you reconnect with yourself. Wow, and then we have the Four of Swords, okay. That's my left side is also tingling, um, really connecting with your feminine, receptive side. I'm also feeling um, with the number four, balance, okay. And I'm really getting that you should focus on going within. I don't know why I'm hearing that. I'm really feeling like um, dreams. Okay. Very, very powerful crown activation that's coming through right now. Um, I don't know if you've done Kudalini energies or you do Kudalini rising energies. Um, but yeah, I'm getting hot all of a sudden. It's starting from like the top of my head. Um, going down to the base of my spine. I'm getting really, really hot. Um, so I don't know if this is something that is very triggering for you or is something that um, you, you're holding very close to your heart, okay? I'm just getting very hot. Um, I'm actually going to smudge here. Because that was just, I don't know whose energy that was. Um, I don't know if she went somewhere really hot on vacation okay um my goodness yeah i just need to cleanse this energy welcome back oh yeah i don't know what that was but that was just i i don't know what that was that was weird that was weird guys Okay, moving forward, moving forward. Okay, yeah, the Fool, this is my bisexual card, okay? But this is also taking a leap of faith, having faith, right, in the universe. Yeah, and this is a very phallic symbol, okay? This could be an X, but this is also talking about having a lot of passion and wanting to move things forward in regards to that. Yeah, this Four of Wands, this could be someone that you really see yourself building something long-term with, um... Okay, yeah, and this person could have some strong Sagittarius energy, okay, or they could be very angelic, but with the temperance, you know, this is talking about tempering their emotions with these cups, balancing themselves out, all right? 
Yeah, with the Seven of Swords, again, I feel like this person might even be uh, a, a thief. I don't know why I'm hearing that specifically, but this is be a liar, um, someone that is, you know, out for themselves, okay? They're really looking out for themselves, okay? And also look up Seven Seven, all right? Um, heavy emphasis on the Sevens. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> It's a wrap, yo, but you are going to be looking pretty with this nine of pentacles. I really feel like you should um, focus on yourself, okay? And, um, yeah, stay in this stay in this empress energy, okay? Um, you, there's a cue, so we're going to have to see. Yeah, ten of, ten of wands. This is talking about putting down this burden, okay? I think you've been carrying this burden for quite some time and you know maybe that is also yeah you're, you're coming out as this very king of wands this is leo energy you're coming out as someone that's very confident very sexy okay um but yeah again with the libra energy the six of pentacles this is talking about maybe this person breadcrumbed you or maybe you felt like the connection wasn't balanced but um yeah, really focus on loving yourself. And I think you staying in that vibration of self-love, right? The Empress energy. You're really going to be bringing this person back to you. And I think they're going to be seeing you as someone that could really provide for them in the long term. Okay, honey, that's what I have for you. We're going to do um, a twin flame. Okay, we're going to see what their soul has to say really quick here and then i'm gonna move on to the next person so the the list was this was the list okay oh okay did we skip you is that what you're saying um Let's see. Hold on. I'll do a quick little outcome thing here. So let's see. What's the outcome? I'll, I'll do one and two. Okay, we'll do uh, these cards popped out, so I will do three. <laughs> um, okay, I'm going to reshuffle because they are the same. Let me try to avoid this. Again, you could be thinking about them a lot. My nose just got really itchy all of a sudden. Yeah, the Empress card tried to come out. Oh, that's right. Oh, goodness, I didn't even add the... You guys, I'm so bad at keeping track of this. Hold on. Okay, I found I found it. 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 Oh my gosh, you guys. Hi there. Okay, Stella and then it was was it uh Hold on, hold on. It was <laughs> You guys, <laughs> is it the, um, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, okay, hold on, hold on. A-K-U-S-A, -S okay, that's what I'm going to have you abbreviated as, and then we have Tori. Yeah, is that is that the right list now? Do we have the right list? Is that the right list? Well, we have Angela and we're doing, um, not Angela. <laughs> we did Monica. Now we're doing um, Angel. Okay. All right. So uh, to answer your question, this is, I feel like, you know, with the four of wands, which you pulled out twice. Okay. I feel like this is a very burdens burdensome situation. And with this, this is asking you to release that. Okay. So I feel like you might end up getting rejected okay um 
but if this is a connection that you think is gonna work it's gonna work for you because you are a hard worker and you're gonna put the work in to make this connection work okay but this says it's a time for celebration all right so i i don't really know if this is a yes or a no i think it could really go either way is real is really what i'm feeling okay yeah but yeah with the magician you might maybe a good way to get a yes is to do something magical or be very creative with how you um confess your feelings okay that is what I see for you. I'm going to, oh, I was going to pull out a couple cards here. So yeah, there is some sort of stalking. I don't know if you are stalking them or they are stalking you with that page. Okay, the union, okay. Um, I think their higher self may want union or maybe this is your higher self. We are meant to be in this I've always known. Okay, the, I feel like this is you. Yeah, if you only knew if, how much you meant to me. I replay it. So yeah, I think this is you. This is, if this is not you, this is her higher self, but I, I, you know, I'm really feeling like this is your energy, okay? I feel like you really have a strong connection to this girl, um, you know, because uh, it says, I can't explain what I mean, and even if I could, I'm not sure you'll understand. Yeah, and with that, <laughs> this is my ten of wands. This is that heavy burden, okay? Yeah, um, I think uh, if this person has hurt you in the past right now, um, this is the twin flame conversation and secrets, but this is, um, letting me know that when they hurt you, they hurt themselves. All right, my dear, that is what I have for you. I'm going to move on. All right. Thank you for tuning in. Right now it is Rose, my dear. Rose. Rose, do you have a question for me? We get deep on this channel. I don't know what people think that we do over here. Like, I'm exhausted by the end of the night. Like, literally, the minute that I come on, like, all of my energy circuits are like, oh, like, they just go to overload. And then I'm like, oh, my gosh, crashing all day. Oh, my gosh, girl, were you being childish? Were you harassing someone? It's okay, I had this thought. Like, why do people block people? And it's like, well... <clears throat> you know what I mean? Like, could be. No problem. Well, yeah, girl, that's probably why. Shit. It's okay. I get blocked. I get blocked a lot by women. I honestly think it's like just insecurities to be honest i live my my best life yeah people don't like that kind of stuff you gotta like give people space you know like i i view people like cats you know cats really don't want to be touched or picked up when they don't want to be touched and picked up so you gotta wait when until they do okay and that's a respect thing and that's something that my cat teaches me every day, like, I want to pick her up and cuddle her, but <laughs> no, she does not want, she's not with it, she's like, no, she'll, she'll, she'll literally just be like, I literally want to kill you, like, I hate you, like, you are the worst human being ever, how dare you clean my ears, Some something goofy like that, okay, so, um, yeah, <laughs> All right, so back to your reading with the High Priestess, okay? This is the number two. All right, this is letting me know that you could be a Pisces or have strong Pisces placement. You could also be dealing with the Pisces, okay? Take it how it resonates. But this is asking me for you to really reflect, really meditate. Um, this is also letting me know that you are going to be able to find a lot of peace when you do go within. I'm really being drawn to this lady's, like, blue dress. I don't know if you like blue or if you like dresses. Um, again, I really feel like you are someone that has a lot to offer. Like, you, you seem like a very open person. I'm feeling a very, like, open heart chakra, okay? 
Let's see what else. Yeah, okay. So this is letting me know that you are getting trustworthy psychic informations. Um, but this is letting me know that the person, you know, take it how it resonates, you or them, um, is coming up as the queen of Raphael. This is the queen of cups. So heavy emphasis on that Pisces energy, all right? But this is letting me know, um, you know, that you are someone that is very understanding, very giving, very feminine, okay? You might even be someone that is very well educated or into books, likes reading, um, or has a lot of connection to books. I don't know why I feel that, or knowledge. And also starfish, maybe you like starfishes, or you are a star, you might even have some sort of, um, you know, being drawn to the star and the moon, so maybe even, um, again, more cancer, you could be dealing with the cancer sign, or you could be an Aquarius, right, because with the star and the moon, that's literally, right, you look at the stars, you see the moon, like, that's what I, um, I'm really feeling, you could also just really love um, the stars and the moon, okay, um, but with the magician, you know, we have had the magician coming out. This is Gemini energy. And this is letting me know that you can make anything happen, all right? You got everything you need inside of you, all right? This is also successful new beginnings. And with the aid of Michael, this is maybe you not seeing something clearly. Look at how free this person is looking, okay? Like, look at how, like, the gates of heaven have been open, I am free, this girl doesn't even have shoes on, okay, like, she's literally, like, I'm out, like, I'm, I don't even need these shoes, like, where, wherever you were coming from, wherever this girl was coming from, she was out there, it, like, in a hurry is really what I'm getting, she's like, I'm over this, let's blow this pop stand, okay, that's really, really what I'm feeling with this, okay, um, maybe communicating your truth with all of this blue, all right, and especially this beautiful blue robe. I don't know if you have a robe, if you're wearing a robe, if you like wearing robes, or if you like satin or silk. Um, okay, I don't know why I'm really feeling like a texture, okay? Um, or maybe you have some sort of bed sheet or some, some sort of blanket, something that's soft. Okay, that's really what I'm feeling. Um, Yes, but with the, these two lights, I'm really feeling some very balanced energy. I feel like you're balancing some things out, all right? But we are going to clarify with the tarot. All right, I just have to make sure I'm following the list. Oh my gosh, funny, yeah, something with the, I'm telling you, it feels nice. I feel like I'm wearing it for you, almost. I mean, it feels super nice, okay? I don't know if it's soft or if it's silky. Okay, yeah, sorry. <laughs> well, I'm picking up on your energy, okay? So now I know, now I know we're, we're, we are connecting, okay? Um, There is some sort of movement, okay? He could be a cancer because the chariot is... um. Uh, my cancer sign, okay, but yeah, this person could also be in another relationship or be dealing with a Taurus, um, I really don't see him unblocking you at the moment, okay, I feel like this person is moving in a different direction, could have something to do with religion as well, maybe you guys come from two very uh, different backgrounds, but yeah, with the Seven of Swords, there's some sort of sneaky behavior going on, okay? I don't know if that's between you or him. Take it how it resonates. But yeah, with the Nine of Pentacles, I think this is you. You're coming out as someone that is very abundant, very prosperous. You could be single. They could be single, okay? Um, they could be male or female, okay? Gender is fluid. But yeah, with all this yellow, I'm feeling like there's a lot of abundance, okay? A yellow is a color I associate with Oshun, Especially with these pentacles, all right? Um, could be dealing with an earth sign. But yeah, with the seven of pentacles, hi, Dax. Um, you know, this is talking about making investments and waiting for your investments to grow. And also look at how tentative this person is. Like, should I invest in this entire situation? Like, look at how this person is looking at all of this, right? I almost feel like each one of these golden things... Um, you know, I'm not seeing a lot of cups. I'm seeing a lot of pentacles. 
I see I, this person viewing you as someone that might be like very financially stable. All right. Yeah. But they're leaving you out in the cold or you're leaving them out in the cold. Okay. With the five of pentacles, five is the number of grace for me. Yeah, and the Eight of Wands is really talking about um, communication. So yeah, maybe he might even communicate something really clearly about how he wants you to leave him alone, right? With the Five of Pentacles. Oh my goodness, heavy emphasis. <laughs> All right, you literally got the High Priestess and the High Priestess. Okay, so yeah, heavy, heavy Pisces <laughs> coming through. Yeah, that's literally what this what these five of pentacles look like, okay? But you you already know what's going on. You know, I'm here to just confirm what you are feeling because um you are the high priestess. All right? You're coming out as the high priestess twice. Okay? But with this ace of pentacles, this is letting me know that you need to move forward and build in a positive new direction, a lot of stability, okay? For me stability um, you know, they say it represents earth and the physical. For me, it's emotional stability, okay? If I do not emotionally feel stable, we got an issue, all right? We got a big issue. Um, <clears throat> um, I think it could just be infatuation. Like, you could just see someone really hot and you're just like, oh, my God, I need to, like, be in their life or whatever. And it's just... Maybe it's something, if you're really looking at, like, on it, like, from a deeper level, it could really be, I hate to say it, karma, you know, even karma from a past life. Like, maybe you treated that person, like, the way that they're treating you now in a different life. Or maybe, you know, you had power over this person and you didn't give them the time of day and they had to sit with these feelings for a lifetime. Like, sometimes things, weird things like that, um can transfer over but I mean it really depends on what you believe okay um but that's personally what I believe you know I really believe like things balance out and there always has to be balance okay um but with the four of pentacles this is talking about greedy this is talking about not wanting to let this go okay I think that's you and yeah but this is over with the tower I'm really feeling like this is letting me know that this isn't built on solid foundation. Look at how these people are jumping out. Like, everything is falling apart. This does not seem like it's a very healthy relationship. No, it'll pass. That's what I'm saying. You'll get over it, but it's just going to take some time. How long? I don't know. Three months is what I'm hearing. But, you know, everybody heals differently. Yeah, with the Three of Cups, this is letting me know you should focus on partying. You should focus on meeting more people. Maybe this person is in some sort of third-party situation, you know, because we had that Seven of Pentacles, okay? But, yeah, you might even be dealing with a future king, okay? Not, not in the literal sense, but, like, a king of cups, all right? Like, that's someone that is very stoic, but someone that is also very passionate. Could have strong um, water placements or even be a Sagittarius, okay? <clears throat> so there is new love. That's what I'm seeing. Um, you know, why doesn't he like you? I don't know if you've lied to him, backstabbed him, betrayed him. Maybe he's felt like you have been betrayed. Um, that's really what I'm feeling. Or maybe, you know, that's... Maybe there's something that you said or maybe there's something in the way that you guys communicated. Um... I don't think this person sees um, an emotional connection, okay, with you. Because um, your question was, why doesn't he like me? And I got the Ace of Cups. The Ace of Cups is talking about, you know, having a new emotional fulfilling connection. And with the Ace of Cups, you know, being like this, um, to answer your question, I feel like they, they just don't feel the same way that you do is really what I'm getting. We'll pull a couple cards from the Twin Flame, and then I will... Yeah, maybe they just don't... Because you guys are from different races, maybe that's something that, um, you know, they don't really um, want to deal with. And I, I've had... I, you know, I, I'm in an interracial relationship, and so... Um, and I've had inter interrelation... Oh, my gosh. Oh my gosh, you guys, I can't even say it. But you know what I mean, like people from different races, um, 
coming together and it can definitely be a little bit um interesting but i think if both people are really willing to make the connection work i don't think that's a really big a factor that matters you know love is love like let it be um but yes sorry i just had to shuffle the energy i just feel like i have to clear the energy out my dear um my goodness oh my goodness look at that pisces pisces coming through Oh my gosh, yeah. Okay, I feel like you're also not being very flexible in this connection, okay? my All of my cards just snapped in half. Not even, look at that. One side has like way more than the other side. All right. So, um, I'm just going to try to make sure. I'm, I'm going to try to work with your energy from afar. This is a really good way I am able to connect with other people's energies and um, kind of move through whatever it is that is going on. Oh my goodness. There we go. Yeah, try to be a little bit more flexible, okay? Don't be so fixed. I don't know if you, um, is Pisces a fixed sign? I don't think they are. can't remember if they're cardinal or mutable. I think they're immutable, but I could be wrong. Um, yeah, just don't be so, so fixed, okay? Okay, I'm going to be using this uh, Twin Flame Conversation and Secrets. All right, so this is what the person that you are thinking about. Okay, this is just a confirmation. I hurry myself in work so I won't think about you. Okay, so this person, it does think about you. Okay. I can't stand the thought of you with anybody else. Okay, so maybe this person might be a little bit of a playa. Heartbroken. My emotions are like an angry sea that comes in waves. They consume me. I'm drowning. Okay, so I feel like this person might be really having a hard time managing their emotions. They might not be in a healthy space emotionally. Okay. Yeah, don't wait for me to make you happy. I will come when you have found happiness within. So yeah, this person um, is really doing their own thing, okay? So I think they're looking for their own happiness, and I think they don't know what that looks like, and I think that's what's leading um, to this connection not being the way that maybe you want, okay? It's so easy to become mentally clouded with a love as strong as ours. Focus, okay? So this is letting me know that, you know, this is probably <laughs> so funny. This is probably why... Um, you feel such a strong connection, but yeah, muted energy. You're blocked, right? Muted energy. Like, th like this is letting me know that you're blocked or they're blocking you or you're blocking them, something along those lines, okay? Um, I think the solution for you is uh, to focus on yourself and really elevate your energy, and that's what I'm here to do on this channel, all right? So hit that subscribe and that like button. Um, but yeah, it says I don't like being without you, but this is for your own good. Yeah. Um, let's see. Please stop doubting our connection and commitment. So this person could be committed to another person. They could be dealing with somebody else, okay? And each lifetime, each dimension I'm running and hiding, I'm shameful and full of regret. I let you carry us on your own, your strength. I am honored. So this is talking about, yeah, you... Definitely had a connection with this person in a past life and maybe the roles were reversed and now you're getting um, a taste of, right, your medicine uh, of super past. All right, but this is talking about heading, uh, having healthy boundaries, okay? And I think that's what that Queen of Swords was letting us know is, you know, really honoring your boundaries, really setting boundaries and really focusing on being in a healthy space. I think that's how you're going to manifest new love and bring in um, more positivity, okay? Because this situation isn't serving you, my dear, okay? I know. You just got to work through it, okay? Try to find somebody that um, really connects with you. All right, my dear. That is what I have for you. Gita. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So just take your, take your shop elsewhere, okay? I hope that was helpful. 
Yes, Gita, it is your turn. What is your turn, my dear? What do you want to ask? Oh, my goodness. I'm seeing the top of my head, guys. I'm glad we're finding people in the same situations. I mean, it's not good that it's happening, but I'm glad we're building a community of healing. Okay. Right now I'm feeling like you're, they're thinking about you, maybe one of them or maybe both of them. Yes, I'm so glad it was able to help you, my dear, okay? And look at the pick a pile that I did at the beginning of the video. There might be a message in there for you. Okay, one of them was minerals, one of them was animals, and one of them was angels, okay? So see which one of those piles resonates. We always take a deep breath, a couple of deep breaths as a collective. And um, yeah, maybe there is something that can really help you. The last pile, which is the fourth pile... Um, you know, that is just talking about what healing work we can all do regardless of what pile you chose, okay? Awesome. Okay, let's see who for, who's coming out, okay? Six of Ariel, okay, this is my six of pentacles. This is Libra energy, okay? This is talking about being very abundant, okay? having things uh, that you need show up for you in unexpected ways, okay? This is talking about acts of kindness and giving and receiving uh, from a grateful heart, okay? With the epiphany, this is Virgo energy, all right? Um, maybe connecting with Archangel Raziel, maybe working on your third eye or upping your protection, all right? But this is letting me know that this connection is for your spiritual growth, okay? Hold the light for other people. Be that pillar of light that I know you can be. And answers that are going to be coming in through... Um, <clears throat> no, there is a couple more spots. I think there's like five more spots or something. Um, but yes, this is letting me know that you should really focus on meditating, all right? Wow, with this leap of faith, you could be dealing with an Aries. For me, Scorpio is, um, I really associate it with Aries, okay? Um, so maybe these people have strong Aries in their charts or Aries placements or Virgo. They could also have strong Virgo in their chart or maybe even Libra, all right? At the bottom of the deck, we got the five of Raphael. And this is letting me know that whatever you are going through, this is happening for a higher purpose, okay? This is also asking you to release regret, shame, and embrace opportunities that um, come from happiness, okay? And searching for the silver lining. So really focusing on... Um, the bottom line is what I'm hearing. Okay, they both are Scorpio moon. Yeah, so Scorpio, so I know Scorpio used to rule the planet of Mars, which is the planet of like war, which would make sense. But then I don't remember at what point in history they changed it to Pluto, which is the ruler of the underworld, which was what Aries uh, used to rule and so now they are synonymously mixed up as both, right? Because death and war and war and death, right? You got samsara. Okay, so, okay, this is Scorpio, okay? I also view this as a Sagittarius card, but this is talking about passing judgment okay maybe your ancestors are watching over this connection maybe your angels are watching over this connection maybe your family or the community at large okay but this is really talking about having some sort of decision being made okay and having a judgment come out of that yeah maybe in regards to communicating something about your passions all right with the eight of wands yeah, heavy emphasis on Aries, okay? They could have strong Aries. I got two Aries cards. 
So I don't know if maybe you have Aries in your chart, but this is talking about someone that is very independent, very self-reliant, okay? Knows how to set healthy boundaries, know how to complete and manifest things, and also is a very passionate individual, all right? That's what I'm getting with that. Yeah, but maybe there's some sort of sneakiness. I don't know if you're being sneaky or if they're being sneaky. I feel like this is your energy, though. I feel like you're coming off as this emperor right now. You're in your power. You know, you're make, you're trying to make some sort of decision, and you're trying to be balanced. But with the Seven of Swords, I feel like you're doing it in, like, a sneaky way. All right? Just be careful, please. All right, I don't know if you're dating two people at the same time. I don't know why I'm getting that. Yeah, but with this, the hanged man, this is Pisces energy, all right? This is talking about, again, meditating and going within. So I don't know if you are right now trying to meditate and go within. And I think that's why you're here. Oh, my goodness. Thank you so much. Thank you for following. Hi there. Hello, queen. Oh, my goodness. I have no idea who's the Aries. You'd have to look into the into the um, placement of the individual. But with the devil, this is Capricorn energy, okay? This could be third-party situation. This could also be a lot of chemistry, okay? Sexual chemistry specifically. But with the Nine of Cups, I feel like you are just trying to figure out. Thank you so much, Queen. Um, you're trying to figure out... Uh, what it is that you want. That's really what I'm getting with this nine of cups. Yeah, and this is Gemini with the lovers, okay? So I feel like you're really trying to focus on your inner and your outer, your masculine and your feminine, okay? Yeah, both of them are interested, so that, yeah, okay. But with the lovers, I feel like you're, you're also taming your lower and your higher self, okay? Let's see. Yeah, the Ten of Wands is talking about putting down a burden. So this is really burdensome to you. But with the Sleep of Faith, yeah, I feel like there's... It's all... Okay, love is always going to end up in some sort of heartbreak unless you, like, get married. And even then, um, <laughs> it's not always um, a walk in the park. So with the Three of Swords, you know, this is really talking about heartbreak hotel. Okay, this is talking about maybe not having your expectations met. And yeah, with this Queen of Cups, I feel like you are really sitting in this very emotional space about trying to figure out what it is that you want to do. But really believe in yourself. Listen to your heart. What brings you joy, okay? Yeah, and this Knight of Cups. Um, boy, oh boy, these energies are really mingled, you know? Um, they're, they're ready to make this offer to you, okay? I think you just have to, um, yes, thank you, Tori. Thank you for speaking the truth, girl. It's hard for me to keep tabs on all of this. Yeah, I, you guys are thinking about each other because my nose is getting more itchy, okay? Um, but yeah, there's maybe a lot of gossip going on or maybe you're talking to a lot of people trying to figure out what is you, what it is that you're trying to do. But with this Two of Wands, I really feel like you're making a passionate new beginning. You've got the world in the palm of your hands. Yeah, I'm not seeing really any of them because the whole thing is going to end up in a Three of... Right? The Three of Swords. Heartbreak Hotel. Yeah, and then you're going to end up in your head. I think this is what, what the relationship is going to be with either of them. Yeah, Five of Cups, Crying Over Spilled Milk. Two of Cups, that's that Gemini energy, although this is a Cancer. Oh, sorry, my back. Just, yeah, I'm not taking all of those. But at the bottom of the deck, I feel like you're going to be expanding and growing. Oh, goodness gracious. I'm actually going to pull out the Twin Flame Conversation and Secrets, okay? Yeah, but I wasn't feeling a lot of Aquarius energy either. I mean, unless this hanged man is the Aquarius, but I don't know. I think they're interested, but is it like I'm only interested in like a hookup or is it I'm interested in having you be my wife? Two very different kinds of interested. You know what I mean?
Okay, and now the list is closed. So I'm going to put list closed. All right. My hair is getting so crazy, guys. Hold on. I just closed the list. I'm so sorry. Oh my gosh. That always happens. I literally close the list and everybody's like, one more, one more. I'm like, oh my gosh. Okay. Um, oh my gosh, Crystal. I will I will do your reading for you, okay? I will do a reading for you. So copy and paste the list that Tori so lovely made for us, okay? Thank you for helping us with the list. Man, I'm sad Tom Cruise isn't here. Here's the A1 day one, all right? Deep thoughts, all right? This person's having deep thoughts. Our souls already know each other, don't they? It's our bodies that are new, okay? So there is some sort of awareness that, yes, you guys know each other. There's still work to do on both sides, okay? So I think the reason this isn't going to pan out, because, the, one, the timing is not right, okay? Two, there's work that you have to do, and then there's work that they have to do, all right? In order for this union to happen, my silence is my way of coping. So I don't know if you guys are talking or not talking. Growing pains hurt the worst. Yeah, I bet they do. And sometimes I wonder if you're better off without me. Oh my gosh, no, thank you, thank you. Yeah, we are meant to be and that I've always known. So this person does know that you hold a special spot in their heart. That's why they're in deep thought. But they are also, you know, wondering if they're even good for you, okay? And that's really painful to have these people sit in. And also painful for you to try to figure out, okay, is this something that I even want to invest my time and energy into? It's so hard. Um, you know, love nowadays. I knew... You know, I'm 26, so when I was growing up, and this was in the 90s, okay, that's how old I am. So when I was growing up, you know, like, we didn't have technology. We literally, like, <laughs> you made the connections by going outside and playing, like, on the playground, which is so sad because now you can't even do that because of COVID. So I really don't even know how anybody's communicating, to be honest. Um, but I just, I just can't be alone anymore. Like, I've just been alone for so long. I just really can't. I just can't do it. I'm, like, actually starting to suffer um, mental health things. So I'm being more social and focusing on the positive things that life has to offer, like you guys. Um, so let's see. Um... I hope that was helpful. I just totally ranted, Gita. Um, focus on yourself, my dear. Actually, I feel... I just feel like I have to give you a message here, okay? Because I feel like I'm, I'm just leaving people kind of confused. Not that I'm, like, I'm trying to confuse you or that that's what is going on. I just feel like... You know, I need to wrap it up with, like, a sweet message at the end. And I think that's what I will be doing with these cards, okay? Yeah, transformation. Okay, so this is, things are changing on a cellular level, okay? This is talking about deep, deep healing. I think this is really asking you to heal things deeply within yourself. I'm getting a lot of Egyptian energy, okay? Especially with this cat, all right? And literally, maybe even doing, um... A couple of guided meditations to heal DNA, all right? Mirror, who or what is triggering you? So yeah, this, I feel like this is a very karmic connection in the sense that it's here to help you grow, okay? All right, so next is Stella. Stella, what is your question, my dear? And my nose is itchy, so I don't know if somebody's thinking about someone in specific or, you know, if someone's thinking about me, but we need to not have this itchy nose. Guides, guides, I'm talking to you. No itchy nose, please. I don't want to have Rudolph the Red Nose reindeer effect for the next two days. Thank you, please.
Oh my gosh, Gita. Okay, so this is letting me know that the connection that you're... Um, I don't think you should pursue both of them because it's going to end up in heartbreak. I think you should choose the person that you really think you're going to vibe with um, first. And if that doesn't work, then try the other one. Don't do it at the same time, okay? Um, yeah, LOL, Gita, I'm feeling the player player from the Himalayas, okay? Um, <laughs> Um, but yeah, that, that is really what I'm feeling. Just focus on loving yourself, okay? And really do some deep healing. And I think you'll be able to figure out what it is that you want, okay? I think you know what's best for you. But yeah, don't be no player because that's just not going to be good karma um, to have to clear. Because you will have to clear that, okay? Everybody's got to pay the piper, all right? Um, all right, Stella. New love or same love? Let's figure this out. Okay, again, this person could be thinking about you. Yeah, I, I know you're not playing, but I'm saying if you were to date both of them at the same time or pursue both of them. Oh, Tom Cruise, you're back. Um... So funny because I was just asking about you. Maybe we'll see what time it is. Um, because right now we got a couple of people. Um, what was I saying? So yeah, and I'm not saying that you're a player right now. I'm saying if you were to do both at the same time, okay, like a lot of Leos and fire signs tend to do. Um, don't do that. <laughs> Yeah, 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 just keep talking to them. That's right. That's right. Keep talking to them. Just keep talking to them. And you know what? Sometimes withholding your um your sexual power, as I say, you know, your withholding that, you know, really uh can show you who people are, okay? I know, I know. Just see who puts more energy. Thank you so much for that. Um subscription oh my goodness and following me my dear yeah <laughs> all right so old love or new love let's see change your life okay so this is telling me let go of this old love okay this is talking about a sudden revelation that's going to offer you freedom. This is talking about breaking free from procrastination. This is embracing new opportunities and um things that bring change, okay? With the number three, and that's Empress, okay? This is talking about you having a lot of luxurious and abundant resources. You could be a mother. You could be someone that is just a Libra as well or a Taurus or has that heavy in their chart, okay? With all this purple, I feel like you really should focus on cleansing your energy, cleansing your aura. Um, and again, I'm really feeling like this is talking about... Um, time to take action you know on whatever you're planning all right i think if you're planning on um you know staying in this connection then um you know i think it's going to be a lot of work but you can make it work but i really feel like there is something bigger and better for you yeah with the wheel this is letting me know that there's a new beginning coming okay end of delays transformation a change in direction that is going to offer you happiness so i don't know if this person makes you happy or if you haven't been happy but wow you have all major arcanas okay so this is letting me know with the chariot this is talking about um having some sort of meetup or communication with this person this is talking about cancer energy as well this is having a lot of um self-control determination maybe focusing on your career rather than um love at this moment okay let's see let me see
again, I don't know if you're thinking a lot about this person. But yes, the Four of Cups. This is talking about um, maybe turning down some sort of offer or having a rejection. Okay, rejecting something as well. The Hierophant is talking about heavy emphasis on that Taurus energy. Okay, I'm really feeling... Um, you know, this person could uh, also have, like, religious uh, differences or maybe be a, a different um, race as well. With the Emperor, we got someone that has a lot of fire in their chart as well, okay? This could be an entrepreneur, but we got the Emperor and the Empress. So you are really dealing with someone that is your equal, all right? Um, interesting with the change your life, okay? It's your life with the star. Yeah, the destiny. This is speaking about, you know, maybe having your wish fulfilled. Um, I don't know if you have allergies. I'm getting really itchy. Um, let's see. What else? Yeah, with the seven of pentacles, I feel like you're trying to see where. Um, oh, goodness. Let me see. Okay. Okay. So with the seven of pentacles, I'm really feeling like um, you're trying to see if this is something you want to invest in. Maybe look up angel number seven, seven. Okay. With the seven of swords, I'm really feeling um, this could be someone that's sneaky. Okay. Might have some sort of deceptive tendencies. And with the Four of Swords, this is talking about healing. This is also my masturbation card, so I don't know if that's something that you do when you think about this person. Um, but this is also talking about you really going within yourself and getting the answers that you are so desperately seeking. Yeah. With the Two of Cups, I really feel like that's you really making that divine connection with you. Heavy emphasis on that masturbation. All right. Um, but yeah, with the, with the judgment that's talking about Scorpio energy and that's talking about, um, you know, really trying to make this decision. Yeah, I feel like maybe, um, you know, I really wasn't feeling that before, but maybe this is a new beginning, especially with the eight of wands. Okay. This is like a passionate communication and the three of wands. This is talking about expansion. Okay. Yeah. The magician. Wow. Okay. I feel like I. I don't even know how this happened, but I, you know, and this is why I like to pull the tarot because it gives a lot of clarification. I feel like you really should go with this person, okay? The magician is talking about you being, having everything that you need. You are the empress. He is the emperor, okay? The chariot is talking about fast forward movement, okay? Yeah, there is. I'm not seeing uh, any third party. You know, I'm seeing the two of cups, which is talking about you being in a, like a union, no, not every card, okay? Aries is... Aries, oh my goodness. <laughs> you could be dealing with an Aries. Um, but... Oh, Tom Cruise. I'm just going to have to show you the the other reading, okay? Um, the other cards. But the four... Okay, I remember reading in the sexual tarot that the four is the masturbation card. The fool is the bisexual card. The wands and the swords are phallic symbols, okay? Funny, yeah. Anyway, so the lovers, this is also talking about... Um, for me, I always associate the lovers with divine union within yourself, okay? But... This could also be talking about maybe somebody else, okay? With the Eight of Cups, this is walking away. I don't know if you're walking away, but whatever it is that you're walking away from, you're building a new stable foundation. That's what I'm really seeing for you right now. Yeah, you're dev. Wow. With the Ten of Pentacles, you're really building yourself something solid, okay? You're building yourself your dream life. Yeah, and with the death, you're putting an end to, right, this death, rebirth, renewal cycle. And with this page of cups, you know, I feel like there's a lot of gossip. Okay, look at how this person's talking to this fish. Yeah, but with the nine of cups, like, you literally got the ten of cups, okay? Because nine plus one, which is the page who's holding one more cup, that's ten of cups. So then you got ten, ten. 
All right, so I feel like you're going to be better off on your own, okay? Yeah, this person might even try to come back, but you're really going to be having the world in the hand of the palm of your hand, okay? Yeah, <laughs> heartbreak hotel, all right? So I don't know if this person put you in that state or maybe now they're going through the heartbreak because of what they did to you. But we are going to pull from the Twin Flame Oracle. Okay, maybe you guys are thinking about each other a lot. My nose is just getting really itchy, all right? Um, so that's my sign that, um, yeah, you guys are just thinking about each other. All right, I'm going to pull from... No, the, no, I was just talking to Tom Cruise about... Um, what each of the major arcanas can mean if you're looking at it in a different way. Um, I didn't see anybody coming back. I saw you starting your own cycle. No, it can be anything. Okay. Right now, we are trying to connect with Akusha. Or, um... Hi, love. Good to have you on here. Are you here, Akusha? We'll see while we're waiting for them. Thank you. All right, so I send you sexual energy. Okay, this person is thinking about you. Eye contact is when I knew you found me. I wasn't ready. I thought I had more time, so I ran. Okay, I don't know if you guys are talking or not talking or just working through some things, but they do think about you. They have deep thoughts about you. Our souls know each other, um, don't they? It's our bodies that are new. If you only knew how much you meant to me, and I hate that I love you so much. Yeah, it's just a matter of time. Just a matter of time, my dear. All right, that is what I have for you. I'm going to move on to Kusha. And, oh my gosh, my nose. Oh, guys, whoever this is, please. Yes, yeah, so we're going to we're gonna see what's going on in, in this connection, okay? So I know what's going on, and that way I can give you the best advice. Um, and that way you know what's going on in case if you're not seeing things clearly, okay? So there's going to be some truth, hopefully, that is shared with us. And that's something that we are going to be able to um, work through, all right? Spidey, I'm sorry it's closed. You guys, I closed it like half an hour ago. I'm just working through the people, but I will be back. I will be back. Um, I'm planning on doing a reading every Monday, Wednesday. And I was torn between Thursday or Friday. But it might be Monday, Wednesday, Friday. From 9 until like 1 or something. It is almost 1, you guys. Yes. Hit the follow so that you guys know. All right, so you're coming out as the page of Ariel. This is the page of coins, okay? This is someone that, um, you know, is really working on. Thank you so much for following. Um, this is really talking about being reliable, clever, someone that focuses a lot on their education, um, maybe even applying for scholarships or going back to school. This is letting me know that you should focus on not being idle too long, okay? This person right now might be even focusing on school. Wow, okay, the Empress, they could be a Libra. You could be a Libra, take it how it resonates. Um, this person could be very luxurious, very abundant. But again, heavy emphasis, time to get to work and time to take action upon your plan. So this is asking you to do. There's a quote, and I can't remember by who it is, but the difference between a dreamer and a an achiever, sorry, the difference between a dreamer and a doer is achieving. Or I can't remember the quote, but I had it around here. So funny that I can't find it anymore. Um, but it's talking about really, um, you know, doing something and putting something into action. 
is the difference between manifesting your dreams and not. All right. So with the wheel, you know, this is talking about ending um, things, beginning new things, okay, changing directions, and, um, you know, finding things that bring you happiness, all right? So I don't think this person is really feeling um, guilty so far from what I'm seeing, okay? Um, I really feel like this person is standing in their power, yeah. With the Queen of Ariel, okay, this could be you, but this could be them, but we're doing a reading on them, okay? So this is letting me know that this person um, is very mature, okay? Um, you know, this is asking you to nurture yourself and those you love. This person could be doing that at this moment, okay? This is also someone that has the ability to make things more beautiful, to have like that golden touch, okay? Um, this is also someone that is very practical and wise, I'm going to clarify with the tarot here. All right, we got the two of wands. This is talking about having the world at the palm of your oyster, uh, at the palm of your hand. Okay, maybe that's you or maybe that's them. But with the king of cups, this is making a new forward um, emotional movement, maybe towards a Leo, Aries, or Sagittarius. Someone with heavy fire signs. In their placement this could also be you Stella baby I already did your reading Stella I did your reading Remember that person was sending you sexual energy? Right now I'm doing a kusha, all right? I'm doing a kusha. Yeah. <laughs> I'm doing a kusha. Awesome. Yeah. Okay, so the so the signs that we have out here, okay? Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. Okay, the wheel, I think, is, I want to say Cancer, but it could be wrong. This is Libra, okay. And then this is um, Virgo and Taurus energy, okay. We got fire over here with the wands. We got water here, so that could be any of the water signs, okay. So if he's a Cancer, this would be him, all right. And yeah, making some sort of emotional offer to this Queen of Wands, all right. I don't know if you're a queen of wands or if the person they're thinking about is a queen of wands. I don't know what the situation is, okay? With the five of cups, either someone is crying over spilled milk, okay? Yeah, but with the queen of swords and the empress, I feel like you're really standing in your power. You're not taking any prisoners, right? What's the price of treason? Off with their heads. And yeah, with the ace of cups, this is talking about a new emotional beginning, with the Six of Wands, this is talking about being victorious, okay? Yeah, and the Four of Cups is talking about really not being happy with what's being offered, okay? I feel like if this person doesn't come in correct, don't bother coming in at all. Yeah, but with the Six of Pentacles, I really feel like you're just trying to build um, stability for yourself on something that is very stable, okay? Yeah, with the Wheel of Fortune, it's funny because we have the wheel coming out twice. All right, this is talking about karma shining upon you, fortune smiling upon you. All right, Seven of Swords this is someone that might have sneaky tendencies or might have been sneaky in the past, okay? But yeah, with the Four of Cups, this is letting me know, like, end this cycle, you know, start a new cycle, do the healing work that you have to do for yourself. All right, and with the hanged man, this could be Pisces energy, but this is asking you to meditate, okay? Pisces are very spiritual. They're very connected to source, okay? They're also very pure spirits, but yeah, again, heavy emphasis with Leo energy, okay, with the sun. You could be dealing with kids. You could be working with kids, or you could just love being around kids because they are such uplifting energies, okay? Um, let's see, what else? Yeah, I see you moving forward, okay? I don't see this person coming back for you. I think there is some sort of uh, regret that happened here. But overall, this person really helped you move forward 
and evolve as an individual. Yeah, and you're coming out as a magician, someone that can really manifest anything for them. Okay, we're going to pull a couple twin flame cards here. Okay, I'm going to just shuffle this real quick. And then, um, yeah, the kids are coming through in the reading. So, yeah, you do have a genuine love for kids, okay? And I think the kids really like you, okay? You might even have some strong Leo placements in your chart as well, okay? Or they may have some strong Leo placements. But you guys are thinking about each other, okay? Because the reason I know is my nose is extra itchy. So... I'm going to be Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer tomorrow, guys. Like, my nose is going to be so red. Um, all right, yeah. This is talking about <laughs> um, passion, all right? That's the phallic symbol for a guy. Let me shuffle these, and then I will do the twin flame. I'm getting hot, so I don't know if this connection is a steamy one. Or if this is something that you guys like to do um, together, just like hang out, maybe talk, or maybe your energies together just make each other very warm and excite one another. All right. So let's see what they have to say. And I can tell you're getting excited because my nose is getting extra itchy. <sighs> okay, this person is untrustworthy, okay, might have a heavy emphasis on that third party, maybe even had a third party, okay, but I really don't even like this card. Okay, all of these things I will do, all right, so this person has a lot of regrets, that's that five of cups energy, I left you before you could leave me, so maybe this person, yeah, you know, left you so that they wouldn't have to deal with all the heavy feelings, okay, I felt like I'm chasing the wind, I'm tired and torn, all right, when I call out, uh, when you call out to me, I can feel you. So there's a lot of telepathic um, communication. I can't stand the thought of you with anybody else. So this person, you know, I feel like they have a lot of shadow work that they have to do. I feel like they're trying to eat their cake and have it too. Okay, boo-boo, you can't do that, all right? I can't explain what I mean, and even if I could, I'm not sure you'll understand. I think that's some BS. I don't know if they're involved with somebody else now, or maybe now they want to offer this commitment that they should have offered to you forever ago. But yeah, your guides are now coming in and basically saying, keep your focus on you and all shall come into place, all right? Yeah, and really focus, all right? Because this connection is a very powerful one. Um, focus, stay strong and focus. Yeah, that's the, that's the third party, all right? Yeah, <laughs> girl, like, just take back your energy, be in that empress, and, like, peace out, okay? Just peace out. Yeah, and they're, yeah, they're trying to, like, keep you connected. So do some sort of, like, etheric cord meditation and cut that, cut that energy, okay? Take your energy back, sit with it, bathe in it. Like, it's so funny, because, okay, Leo's, like, sometimes look for external approval, but it's so funny when they actually realize that they don't need that and they actually can provide that all to themselves. Like, you really step into your power and you're like, I'm actually always center stage, okay? And I'm always, like, actually able to share my shine with other people. And, um, you know, when you call back that energy and you're not as generous with your energy, right? It's so interesting to see why people get mad. You know, okay, so just really focus on keeping your energy on yourself, right? Focus on yourself. That's what we're here for. That's why I started this channel. I will be doing daily positive messages on working your light, okay? Like, what do you got to do every day to work on your spiritual self, right? You work on your mental health, right? Maybe going to therapy. You read books, right? Because you're in school. You're advancing your education, right? You work on sports because you got to work your body, right? Maybe you're passionate about this kind of stuff. But what about your spirit, right? Your spirit's something that you're going to have with you up until the moment that you uh, pass, right? So why is it at one point that we just stop? And the second thing is where does all that love go when we are kids and why does it only show up when you're a kid and you're about to die? Like, that love needs to be spread out in between as well. 
So, um, you know, there's a lot of healing that needs to happen. Really bring your attention back to yourself and love yourself, okay? No one's going to love you the way that you need to love you, right? True love comes from within. True abundance comes from within, okay? So that's what I'm here to do, and I'm here to really stick it to everybody and let you guys know that that is what it's all about, okay? If you're on the path towards healing and being your best version, then you are in alignment with me, okay? You are in alignment with this channel. Um, if you are just someone that isn't really ready to step into their power because there's a lot of fear, a lot of um, things, you know, spiritual awakenings, people are like, oh, it's like rainbows and sunshines. It's like the exact opposite. It's like I could potentially just like not even have anything um, in one moment. And it's so humbling when the universe really does that kind of stuff. But that was the reading I had for you, um, Akusha. All right. Yes, let me know how your journey is unfolding. All right, Tori, honey, are you still here? This is the list. Okay. So if you're watching this, welcome, welcome. Okay. You are an ascended soul. We're really here to work our light. Okay. I may need to go get more lemonade. Tori, my love, we are here. We'll give her a minute. Oh, yes. Yeah, let's do it. Okay. What do you want to do? You got to choose one or the other. Do you want a general? You could do like a general reading, like a general romance reading. Or you can do like what is your specific like healing message if that's something that you want to focus on. Just depends what you want to do, but you got to, you know, I know, <laughs> especially Pisces, you got to be decisive because um, we got a couple other people and it's already, um, you know, 1 a.m. I'd like to lay down and wind down as well so yeah just tell me what you want to do we'll start with my usual archangel cards okay i'll just shuffle these okay let's see what your angels have to say okay we're gonna see what your angels and guides have to say Okay, Ten of Raphael, love and blessings fill your life. Okay, so this is letting me know. Um, yes, oh my goodness. So yeah, this is you and your boyfriend. You just, it's so funny because I pulled out the Ten of Cups and you said, I'm super happy with my boyfriend. Yes, you are very happy. And I think your angels are very aware of how much joy um, this individual brings. I don't know if you are older or not, like, the age of actually having a family and starting a family because the Ten of Cups is basically um, my happy home, happy spouse um, energy, okay? With the Two of Ariel, this is talking about balancing, maybe having fun with your significant other and a work. So that could be school, that could be any projects, that could be um, jobs even, or maybe multitasking, maybe you're just a very individual, like busy and individual person that has a lot of um, curiosities, okay? With the Nine of Swords, which is the Nine of Michael, this is talking about working on your throat chakra, okay? Um, your heart chakra seems pretty stable. Maybe connecting with more of your angels or even working with the color pink, okay? 
All right, but yeah, I don't know if you guys have had a conversation about having kids and maybe that's something that's stressing you out. But yeah, try not to worry about things that have not yet been written, okay? This is also asking you to release any feelings of guilt, worry, regret, um, and really believe that your angels are here to support you, okay? New beginnings. So I don't know if you just started this relationship or if you guys have just um, started some sort of new phase of your relationship let's say you guys were together for like 10 years and now you guys are moving up to being like fiancés or something this is basically saying um you know find your purpose within this connection and you know really review the past maybe there's been some turmoil or some heavy stuff that has happened just like with any um connection you know you got to work through these things and it seems like yeah there's a lot of passion coming in okay Is it? Oh my gosh, yeah, that's the, that's why I was getting, I'm like, because I'm 26 and I'm like, I'm not seeing, like, really someone that's messing around. Like, I'm not seeing page energy. The, the energy feels really um, stable. Tom, always Tom. Yeah, this Nine of Cups, holy cow, you are really happy with this person. Yeah, I don't know if there's some sort of conflict or if there's competition. I think this is that PhD. Maybe you're applying for a very prestigious program and the PhD will help, but it's only, you know, like, like my mom got a PhD in epidemiology, okay? So that's like, I just remember all the hard work that she really had to pull and it was just such a pain in the ass. Like, honestly, it turned me off from like higher forms of education because it was like, I just saw how much she struggled you know, there was, like, a, a lot of neglect, on, like, as a kid growing up because she was so focused on um, her craft. So that's something that, um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know why I'm saying all of that. Maybe that, that connects with this reading somehow. Okay, but the, with the chariot, this is talking about a cancer. This is talking about a fast forward movement, okay? With the page of wands, this is talking about a passionate new beginning, okay? This is also a very phallic symbol. All right, yeah, but with the Seven of Swords, this is talking about maybe some sneakiness. Yeah, okay, so maybe there was some sort of sneakiness in, re in regards to that. Okay, maybe you guys want to try again with the family. Yeah, and maybe with that Five of Cups, you know, this is crying over spilled milk. Yeah, with the moon, heavy emphasis on the Cancer because you got both of the Cancer cards okay but this is talking about secrets maybe this is things that are hidden um or maybe things that are unknown but yeah with the eight of swords you know this is really talking about um having very uh like a lot of stress maybe not seeing things clearly being trapped in your own mind okay yeah but with this king of pentacles i really feel like you're someone that is very stable, very grounded, very rooted in their finances is what I'm seeing, okay? Um, yeah, but you are making some sort of very um, stable offer. This is the slowest moving night, okay? With this card, I really feel like your ancestors are helping you sow abundance into the very ground that you are walking, okay? I don't know. I know with the anxiety, you're feeling pretty stressed, but baby, you are this empress, okay? Yeah, things that were left unsaid, definitely. Because that could be a secret, you know? Like you want to tell something to someone and then you just can't. And it just feels like a secret because then you can't tell it to anybody. Like who are you going to tell it to that is going to understand? And you know that person probably wants to feel heard emotionally. But yeah, this is um, someone that is making a very genuine emotional offer, okay? Knights sometimes can be flighty. They can be like in and out of your life, okay? You want a king, um, you know, or the emperor, really, because you're coming out as the empress, okay? But with the hermit, this is really asking you to meditate, to go within, okay? And yeah, with the four of pentacles, this is someone that's having a hard time letting go of this connection, all right? Yeah, but just stay in your power, honey. That's really what it's being telling, you know, telling me. And with this king of wands, this is the player player from the Himalaya, okay? Um, this is someone that may be very dreamy or maybe, um, very good at pulling you in to like some sort of fantasy land oh my hip just cracked so i'm gonna take that as a confirmation all right let's see i'm gonna pull out the twin flame cards 
and then I will move on. Okay. Next is Dax. Oh, thank you, Tom. Thank you. We're doing Tori right now, Tom. Oh, my hip. Oh, you guys. Yes. All right, let's see. When I hurt you, I hurt myself. Okay. Stress is when the soul is screaming, but the flesh won't listen. Please don't mess this up for us. I keep myself from you because I don't want to hurt you. I think I've done enough damage. My heart cried out for you. My soul waited for you, but you couldn't hear me. Maybe you guys blocked each other at some point. Your silence is destroying me. Maybe you guys aren't communicating clearly. Yeah, but there's heartbreak, okay? Whatever this situation was, was very heartbreaking. And yeah, this is some sort of karma that's being paid, okay? What, I, what I'm reaping, what I have sown, all right? That is what I have for you, my dear. I hope that was helpful. All right, Dax. Oh, I'm going to just stretch my legs for a moment, guys. Okay, one moment.
All right, guys, sorry. I had to go to the bathroom, had to get some water, had to do the most. <coughs> Yes, yes, I hope, yeah, I'm glad it was helpful, okay? So, um, I'll do a, thank you, thank you. I will do a quick general energy, okay? And we'll see who's still in your auric field, okay? I don't know if I'll know exactly how long, per se, but I can probably tell you what they're trying to do, okay? I'll try to answer as many of your questions as possible. All right, so this is someone that, you know, is saving up money, might be a little bit selfish, okay? Being resistant to change, okay? Extremes in how you spend money. The sun, this could be an uh sun, like literally a Leo, okay? This is also talking about money. So this could be someone that's trying to um, take money or hold on to money or gather resources, okay? But with peace, this is asking you to let go of the past, all right? This is letting, asking you to have faith in God, maybe connecting with Archangel Uriel, Archangel Azrael, as well as the four um, of pentacles, really focusing on a legacy, all right? With the eight of Michael, I really feel like this is asking you to be free. This is asking you to um, maybe reevaluate the situation that you are in because you might not be seeing everything um, that is going on. All right, we're going to try to clarify. So right now I'm seeing Leo. Okay, 13 is uh, death to me. So that could be transcendence. All right, so that could be Scorpio. Um with Michael here, you know, that could be any air sign, Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini. And with uh, the four of coins, this could be an earth sign, okay? With the eight of pentacles, this is talking about someone that works really hard for their money, okay? Indifferent to what's going on as well. The eight of swords is talking, okay, look up Arch uh, angel number eight, eight. All right, but the eight of swords is really talking about... Um, Sorry, my cat was doing something weird. I'm um, talking about having a lot of mental anxiety, all right? But try to just breathe through this. Yeah, with the King of Swords, this is someone really um, clarifying their space, really um, speaking their truth, all right? Yeah, but with the Seven of Cups, this is talking about confusion, all right? Maybe you're feeling a little bit confused, all right? But with the Five of Wands, there's conflict, okay? So you might be dealing with a lot of conflict at the moment, yeah, and the Queen of Pentacles is talking about Virgo energy, Capricorn and Taurus energy, Earth sign energy, being very stable, being very nurturing, being very grounded, all right? With the Six of Pentacles, this is my Libra card. This is really talking about finances. Again, really balancing out finances. <clears throat> oh, the kitty is a girl. Her name is Eva, like Sativa right um hi cam and i'm trying to think oh there was like this on facebook like meet my pet challenge and i totally meant to do it but i got sidetracked she got cold she was literally sleeping like this one moment she was like sleeping like this and i could tell i'm like oh she's cold i'm like she literally looks so cold so i went and i like Got her a blanket, and I just bundled her up like a little tamale. And so she's a little burrito in the chair. And she just wiggled. She, you know, she wiggled. I'm a cat mama, so I was just very attentive. Like, what do you need? How can I serve you, my little angel? I love her so much. Oh. Anyways, no more talking, yes. Eva likes sativa. That's exactly right. That's exactly right. You know it. Okay, we got the King of Wands. This is talking about player, player from the Himalayas. More Leo energy. Okay, I don't know if you are a Leo. Dealing with a Leo. Okay. <clears throat> oh, wow. Seven of Swords. So that was actually at the bottom when I picked up the deck. All right, so that could be talking about sneaky behavior. 
sneakiness okay but with the justice you are protected that's really what i'm feeling if there's any court hearings they are going to be ruled in your favor all right and yeah with the nine of swords this is what i'm seeing um th th you wanted to know the people that are around you right the because right now i'm seeing if anybody's having bad intentions so right now the person that i'm feeling that may have bad intentions right because you asked me three different questions is this a uh, leo sign okay i don't know if you're dealing with a leo okay does that make sense right now but right now i'm pulling the cards to see um what's going on right now i really feel like people are trying to confuse you in regards to your money I don't know if you made investments, if you're talking to a broker, if you are someone that um, <clears throat> is good with their money and maybe can help people be, you know, making big financial moves. I, I don't know. You know, I, I don't, I, unfortunately, I don't know you like that. I would love to know you like that, but I don't. Um, so you have to let me know if this resonates. Yeah. Okay. So, th so this is, this is the, 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 what I'm picking up on. Okay. Because you had um, several questions. Yeah, heavy emphasis on Leo, okay? This card, like, this Leo, I don't know if the person that you were dealing with uh, in regards to your money, they could have been a Leo, okay? But yeah, this is talking about a new emotional uh, beginning. So, what I'm seeing is your money is what's being targeted, okay? Um, maybe these people are trying to figure out your money moves, all right <clears throat> and so that could be how they're uh popping in and out and a lot of people don't know that they're doing this okay a lot of people don't know that they come from like royal bloodlines or they come from angelic bloodlines and that they also have all, all these gifts right um you know people think that these gifts exist outside of themselves but you seeing that someone has something that you want right envy or that you that you want to cultivate more of right jealousy then that's that's really there to show you that you already have that within you you just have to shine your light in that um regard okay or in that specific thing so what i was seeing okay because we had the ace all right what i was seeing that was for psychic energies or what's coming towards you okay However long you've been dealing with this person that you're making investment in, just be careful, okay? Because investments, just like the stocks, they go up and down, up and down. Okay. <clears throat> As for your general, we're gonna do, we're gonna pull the same cards. I think they're in the same order. Can't remember. <laughs> oh gosh. All right. Well, basically. We were getting that there was conflict, okay, but you're a very financially stable person. We had this, right, very confident energy, okay? So I feel like for the general reading, you're going to be very confident, right? There might be some competition in regards to money matters, all right? You might even get confused because there's a lot of options and you're trying to make the best move for you, right? You're in this king of swords, all right? You're showing up as someone that, you're showing up, first of all, as two kings, all right? That's no joke, all right? And then you're also showing up as someone that knows how to nurture their goals, all right? And so this is what I'm seeing is you're going to be very financially balanced, very financially prosperous, okay? With the Eight of Swords, I'm also seeing, like, there might be a little bit of stress and worry, right? Because this is a lot of your money. This is a lot of your hard work. But you are going to be, I don't know if you're very pompous, okay? This is a very egotistical card. You might be very in your ego. But yeah, there's definitely some things that you're not aware of, okay? Just like with any stock market, you're not really going to be aware of maybe all the moves that business is making, all right? With the Knight of Pentacles, this is talking about literally building a legacy, having money at your feet, okay? Literally never being broke, again, is what I'm feeling, with the Nine of Swords, um, this is talking about, again, that stress, that anxiety, sometimes keeping you up at night. And with the Justice, this is also talking about finding balance, right? Having truth. And if there's any money that was taken or stolen from you with the Seven of Swords, you will be getting balance in regards to that, okay? Did I answer all of your questions, my dear? Because <clears throat> that is what I have for you. 
Yeah, so just focus on meditating. Just focus on meditating. All right, Cynthia, it is your turn. Cynthia. Is Cynthia here? Yeah, let's see. Stress and anxiety, okay. <clears throat> Um, they're feeling conflict as well. Yeah. So look up angel number 99, nine, okay? And then you also have 77. Seven, so 9797. Nine, seven. And look, I literally slid the deck. So look up our um, angel 999 nine, nine, and angel number 77, seven, all right? And 9797. Seven. All right, because that's literally the pattern that it came out. Okay, 9797 nine, and then 9 as well okay so there this is definitely yeah there's the guided by your angels okay because that was like a like five six angel numbers at the same time okay this is letting me know that you can manifest anything that you want in your life okay all of your worries um you know you can change that at any point all right so you are your own creator all right so I'm going to shuffle these cards. My goodness, that was crazy. All right, this is talking about backstab, betrayal, deceit. This is a player, okay? This person was in and out of your life. Could have been a Libra, strong Libra placements as well. But this is talking about justice, okay? This King of Cups could have been a water sign. But this person was stoic. I feel like they were hiding their emotions. Look how serious this person looks. And, um, oh, thank you. And um, I really feel like with these waves, they're right now not in a very mentally stable place, okay? They're showing up as the double king. This person is very passionate towards you, but I think they hide that and they're very emotional as well. But with the king of wands, I also feel like they are um, a player, okay? I'm not really going to sugarcoat it for you, okay? The king of wands is, is the player player from the Himalaya. You, yeah, with the Ace of Swords, you're really putting some healthy boundaries, all right? And I think they're trying to honor that, you know? I think they're also looking the other way because I think it's hard for them to even look at how victorious you are, okay? You could be, they could be a Leo. They could have strong Leo placements. You could be a Leo. Take it how it resonates, okay? Um, but yeah, this person is very much in their ego. I'm really getting a little bit of a, like a pompous energy, with the Page of Swords, I don't know if you're stalking or they're stalking, but you guys are trying to make some sort of communication. Yeah, but with the Star, this is really talking about this being a destined connection. I feel like this was here to really help you evolve and grow and develop as an individual, as a human. Yeah, with the Five of Pentacles, this is talking about feeling abandoned, left out in the cold. You know, that doesn't surprise me with the player, but I'm also not seeing this other person. So whoever maybe this person was lying to you about, you know, may not even have been a person because I'm not seeing anybody else. Or if there was somebody else, they also left that person out in the cold or they were left out in the cold. You know, I again, take it how it resonates. But yeah, with the Nine of Ariel, this is my pre-Empress card. I don't know if this is your energy that you were in the past and now you're doing the healing work, right? Because the star is my Aquarius card which is talking about healing, right? Connecting with source and having source bless you. 
all right? And yeah, choosing to walk away to love yourself because you're going to be coming out as this nine of pentacles, okay? Nine, this is my pre-empress card. Yeah. <clears throat> and now he's feeling left out in the cold because you pulled back your energy because you're investing in yourself. So I don't know if right now you're making that transition between... Um, moving forward in a positive way towards this or if you are you know um having a hard time letting it go but either way you're going to be moving into this nine of um you know the single energy all right but with the sun okay this person could be a, again heavy emphasis with leo okay could be leo ascending moon rise north node you know mercury whatever it is okay heavy leo placements um and also aquarius too all right, but yeah, whoa, that's crazy. Yeah, with the judgment, I'm getting that this could be Scorpio energy as well, okay? Um, Scorpio to me is talking about also passing some sort of judgment on someone or the situation, okay? Yeah, but with the Eight of Wands, this is talking about um, quick, passionate communication. So I think this person might reach out to you, but they are going to reach out to you when you are in your single energy, okay? I think they're going to reach out to you. And this is a lot of mistake guys make is they reach out too late. They see your worth, right? This empress energy too late. They, didn't, they don't realize that they had this empress energy in their life the whole time. But they were on, right? Some player player from the Himalaya energy. And now they're now when you're really going to be in your power, when you are finally over this and you finally walk away, you know, like you're really going to be in this Empress energy. You're going to be strong, girl. Yeah, this could have been Scorpio that they were dealing with. But even that, whatever they're dealing with was not built on a solid foundation. Maybe your connection was also not built on a solid foundation. But yeah, with 5-5, five, five, look up angel number 5-5. Five, five. <clears throat> yeah they always do it's because they feel it because they feel that you're going to actually leave them and you're going to cut that emotional cord and that's where they get their power that's how narcissists work okay i don't think this person's a narcissist but they could be you know because the magician is someone that could be a little bit manipulative okay right you can use that power to create anything you want for you but what about for other people right that could also be like maybe selling them an illusion or selling them a dream that doesn't really exist okay i don't know why i'm saying that but with the three of cups baby this is no 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 player player from the himalaya third party situation you know this is really what i'm feeling i feel like they see your value and worth way too late because you're going to be happy you're really going to be happy and i think you're really going to be doing the healing work and i think you know, however long that takes, and there's another three, okay? Three of swords. This is Heartbreak Hotel, okay? So whatever it is that you guys, you know, are doing. Yeah. Um, you know, just focus on yourself. Keep focusing on yourself. I'll do a message here, and then I will be moving on to Crystal, right? Crystal? Crystal, are you here? All right. <clears throat> Happy one, two, three, guys. I just looked at the clock. I love it. All right, Crystal, type in your question right now. I'm wrapping up. Okay, hear me out. I'm wrapping up with Cynthia. Okay, so this is not your reading at the moment. I'm wrapping up with Cynthia. You'll type in your question and then I will do your reading. All right. Because we just get a lot of confusion. That's all. Just trying to clarify. Oh, I'm, I'm doing good. My nose is just getting itchy again. So I don't know if someone's compulsively thinking about somebody else. Okay, that's what I'm going to take that sign as. <laughs> All right, so what uh, I'm seeing is this person, right? Because you are in that Empress energy, moving into that Empress energy. They're trying to catch up to you, okay? I don't know if they're trying to level up. I don't know if they're trying to make sure that they don't lose you. But they are feeling exhausted, all right? It's hard trying to catch up when you were starting at the same time and then you know one of you decided to uh puss around okay there's still work to do on both sides okay so the reason that this is also not coming together is because there is work to do to do on both sides okay this is letting me know that you guys are connected in the 5d because you guys are telepathically communicating with one another 
Okay, maybe this person comes visits you in dreams because your soul always knows what to say. All right, they really want to make this situation right with you. Okay, all of these things I will do. Growing pains hurt the worst. Yeah, so going back to doing that shadow work that both of you guys have to do. Each dimension, each lifetime I'm running and hiding. I'm shameful, full of regret. I let you carry us on your own, your strength. I am honored. So this is really talking about, um, you know, this person not listening to what their soul is saying. Yeah, their soul is crying for you. So I don't know if you've blocked them or if you guys are just not talking because you guys know, right, that this isn't a healthy connection. And the deception to you was uh, their fall from grace. You know, how could you still love them? You know, I think they're having a hard time loving themselves. And I think that's maybe what you guys were there to teach one another i'm really feeling like a lot of like like literally a stabbing in my heart um but yeah i really feel like you guys um really were there to trigger each other to grow okay it says we are meant to be in that i've always known so this is something that um yeah this person um really loves you all right yeah because they're in deep thought okay yeah, it's so easy to become mentally clouded with the love as strong as ours focus. So yeah, going back to that self-love message, guys, that's what I preach here. How are you developing yourself? Because that you have to actively work on it, okay? Just like a muscle, you have to actively work on it. It is intense work, but it is very rewarding and fulfilling work, okay? That is what I have for you. I hope that was helpful. Crystal... <clears throat> all right so we'll do a general energy pull for you crystal and then we will do a healing message all right so we will see what's going on so cynthia focus on yourself keep focusing on yourself maybe watch the very ending of tonight's pick a pile okay um the fourth pile was the healing messages for all of the collective, okay? So maybe watch that. There might be a message, but maybe one of the other piles resonates with you, okay? Just do what you feel is in alignment. All right, with the Eight of Pentacles, this is talking about being a hard worker. This is you going back to school to get more training. Maybe you are in school right now. Ten of Ariel is talking about the Ten of Pentacles. This is building your dream life, okay? But yes, with the Four of Michael, this is talking about you needing to do cleansing, healing. This is my Four of Swords, okay? This is asking you to go to sleep, okay? I don't know if... Yes, it is almost 2 o'clock, so you should definitely go to sleep. We should both be going to bed, okay? Um, but yes, this is maybe asking you to focus on... Finding a way to heal, um, you know, maybe a root chakra. So that could be abandonment and fear things coming up. Your third eye, okay, that could be listening to your intuition. Your throat with the blue, okay, talking your, tr your throat, speaking your truth, okay. Oh, my God, yes. Sister, I am picking up your energy. Thank you, thank you. You being open and allowing me to deliver these messages is really... Um, what I'm here to do, okay? If you're not open to, to this, that's totally cool. You can totally observe. Um, but I do want to offer you those healing messages. So yes, Crystal, I'm so glad. Um, maybe working on your sacral as well. Maybe doing some yoni work, okay? Especially with the red and the yellow, okay? Yeah, and solar plexus. This is looking more like a yellow to me for some reason. Um, so maybe even doing some I am's, okay? working with the color yellow maybe eating yellow as well all right but this is asking you to have faith especially with the purple working again heavy emphasis on the third eye maybe even protecting yourself okay but this is asking you to release the past there is a more enriching future coming for you and to let go and let god okay really trust in the universe they got you Okay, I I had a hard time, and you know what? When I finally did let go, as as a lot of people say, I literally like I I like I had Jesus showing up for me in so many different ways. Like Jesus was literally like 
like I, I like would see him and people like when I actually was like, okay, I'm going to sell everything I own. Okay. I'm literally going to move and like, just start all over. Like I literally like saw him and everything. And I was like, I don't know how I'm going to pay this month's rent and da, da 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 And I would bring him all my worries because I was like, well, I'm really dedicating my life. This was seven years ago to this path boom, I would find money, I would have people supporting me, I would have people buying my meals, like I would have like a lot of these earth angels coming, okay? All right. Wow, yes, so we are connecting. All right, welcome to the soul tribe. So good to have you in here. All right. Yeah, just starting new. You have a beautiful career waiting for you, okay? This is what your angels are trying to say. I don't know if you are Sagittarius or not Sagittarius. Scorpio, have strong Scorpio in your chart, okay? Heavy emphasis on Scorpio with that judgment. All right, but yeah, you're a hard worker, okay? You're indifferent to, wow, you literally have the Eight of Pentacles, clarifying the Eight of Pentacles. So that's a double hard worker. So this is heavy emphasis, all right, on being a very hard worker, okay? You are really building your dreams is what I'm hearing, all right? With temperance, I'm really feeling like you are balancing different parts of yourself as well, really getting your crown now, okay? I feel like you've earned your crown. I don't know why I'm hearing that. Again, with the color yellow, I feel like you're going to be very abundant. Yeah, with the Six of Cups, this is talking about family, um, like old friendships, all right, with the world. Um, but yes, <laughs> oh, with the world, this is talking about you know, this person looks like everything is right in the world. Like, bitch, you are draped in this fucking satin silk looking thing. Your hair's done nice. Like, this girl's titties look perky as fuck right now. Um, <laughs> you got everything, okay? Oh, interesting. Yeah, well, that's what I was picking up. But yeah, um, with the Nine of Cups, um, <laughs> I feel like you're someone that does... Find a lot of happiness within. Okay, you're cool with being on your own. And the Five of Swords, maybe you're letting go of some sort of conflict or there was some sort of conflict that you were dealing with. And it's over, okay? Five is the number of grace for me. Heavy emphasis on the Scorpio card, okay? Because we got the tower. This is talking about not building on solid foundations. So I don't know if you were dealing with some BS. It's kind of like what it feels like. But you're staying positive, right? You're in your power. Yeah, with the Four of Swords, so funny because I was feeling that. I don't know if you masturbate a lot, okay? Um, <laughs> but the Four of Swords is really talking about focusing on healing yourself, um, really connecting with yourself. I <laughs> Tom Cruise, leave me alone. <laughs> you already know, you already know. <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah, see, I can't be putting people on blast. I, I can put you on blast, Tom, okay? Because A1, day one. I already know. I already know. Just don't leave me, okay? <laughs> Just don't leave me. All right, but yeah, with this page of wands, I don't know if you are talking to someone. Um, definitely with this phallic symbol, okay? Look up what phallic means if you don't know what that means, Tom Cruise. It looks like a penis. Okay. <laughs> All right, but yeah, uh, the, the star is talking about an Aquarius, okay? This is talking about a dream come true, okay? I feel like this page is really talking about you trying to build um, a new world for you, okay? Especially with the King of Wands. You could be dealing with a Leo, okay? You could be a Leo yourself. Or maybe this is an X because the Three of Swords just couldn't help itself it just had to pop out yeah but you're you're over it you're like literally this is the sort of power this is the sort of truth like you're just you're not having it yeah this person was sneaky but yeah you're up in this like i don't know if the reason that you are moving is because of someone okay yeah their person the, either you or them take it how it resonates crying over spilled milk this could have been your 2020 twin flame okay um but yeah, you are 
Could have been uh, someone with heavy earth placements in their chart. Maybe you were their Ten of Cups, okay? But yeah, you're having this new beginning, okay? This is my bisexual card. This is my new leap of faith. Um, you could be Libra, but you are getting justice. And whatever this situation was, you are getting justice. You know, there's conflict or maybe competition now that you're dealing with, but you're going to be moving forward. Oh, no way. I can't believe I hit it on the head. Well, it's, it's a wrap, guys. You guys know I'm the mystic. We know. This is the mystic show. <laughs> oh, my gosh. That's crazy, girl. I'm sorry. If this is getting too deep and personal, you can just tell me to, like, shut up. We can we can move on to a different part of the reading or something. If, if it's too, like, sometimes it is really um, personal. And some people are like, this is a little creepy. Um, so just let me know if that if, if we're getting into that territory, I don't want to disrespect or, you know, um, make you feel uncomfortable. Well, girl, it's not so impossible. You're investing in your dreams. And I think God is meeting you halfway. I feel like whatever you're trying to build, it is part of God's plan. OK, that's literally what I'm feeling. Yeah, you did it. Oh, my God. Oh my God, can I give you a hug? I just want to give you a hug so bad. Oh my God. You did what you wanted to do. You stuck it out. Girl, respect, okay? Respect. I'm so thankful to be talking to you. I really hope you are following me or something. Oh my God. Oh my God, girl, yes. I'm hearing the word making the impossible possible. I am possible. Literally. Oh my gosh, I am so proud of you, girl. I am so honored. The true empress. Swear to God. True empress over here. Oh my gosh, yes, 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 yes. Okay. Okay, these are the cards that just cut it. Yes, I'm telling you, these are the cards that just couldn't stay in, okay? You got the Queen of Swords. This is healthy boundaries, all right? I feel like you're really being like, this is, the, this is just what I'm getting. With the Ten of Ariel, this is you saying, you know what? I'm building my own dream, you know? I am literally building my own dream. And f what's the price of treason, right? You didn't think I can do it? off with their heads, right? Literally, like, this girl, look at her hand. She's like, bring it. It's okay, bring it. Yeah, yeah, just just come real close. Come here, actually, come here. Yeah, bye, Felicia. That's exactly right. That's I love your energy, Crystal. I love it. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> of course, Tom. Yes. I know you're still feeling all nosy, all right? Anyway, so yeah, this is my Libra card, okay, with the Six of Pentacles. This is maybe breadcrumbing. This is spending finances, um, you know, sometimes overflowing or not having enough, okay? Yes, girl. I feel you. Like, I really feel your energy. I'm like, oh, my God, sister. I really feel like you're my sister, okay? That's how close I feel your energy, okay? Pisces is at the bottom of the deck, but maybe you like to meditate, Maybe you should meditate. I know it has been so, so, so intense, okay? But yeah, with the Ten of Swords, maybe this person backstabbed you, betrayed you, all right? You 10, 10, okay, 10 is um, endings. Yeah, but you are this high priestess, okay? You are very intuitive. You are very aware. You read between the lines. You can not only see and smell bullshit from, like, three miles away you're in this queen of swords energy all right so you're just like fuck it off with their heads come at me very defensive energy yeah especially with that seven of wands but again you you're really just building your own fucking shit yeah lone wolf welcome i'm part of the lone wolf tribe as well so funny that you say that um, I want you to check out the third pile at the beginning of this stream, okay? Um, I think that was the animal pile, and it was the one with the blue cards and the yellow lightning bolts, okay? I feel like there's a message in there for you, okay? Because you're talking about the lone wolf and the people that made that um, deck of cards actually come from the wolf clan, Native American wolf clan. So please check that out. I feel like there is a message in there for you.
Also, let me know if you guys want more pick a cards or anything. Um, that's right. We were going to do a healing message for you. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> I literally said, okay, I think in the beginning of that, and somebody will have to just watch it and let me know in my next video if this is accurate. I think I said if you like that deck, that deck is all about animals. Maybe you work with animals. Maybe you have a deep connection with animals. Maybe you just love animals. You know what I mean? Like, oh, my goodness. Anyways. All right. So, oh my gosh, were we not just talking about the si Was I not just, I was just calling you a sister. Okay, now I'm getting spooked. Okay, now I'm getting a little spooked, okay? <sighs> wow, 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 okay? Beauty and devotion, priestess. Did I not say we are both mystics over here? Mystic teacher, okay? I, I am a teacher. I teach kids with autism how to swim. Um, the Sisterhood of the Rose, okay. Oh my gosh, I love it. Oh, yes. Um, this is talking about Mother Mary, okay. This is talking about literally the rose. For me, the rose is one of the emblems that I really know are signs from my angels, okay. My angels communicate through animals, through plants, through people, through numbers, through music through sounds, through smells, but they don't communicate to me through dreams, if that makes sense. So it's interesting because, you know, we all have beautiful gifts to offer. Oh my gosh, I love this. I'm so excited. Leap, <gasps> you go first, the universe will catch you, girl. Did I not say your path is blessed? <gasps> oh my gosh, you're the second person that's talked about their grandmother passing, and I, I'm so sorry, yeah. Me and Tom Cruise. Tom, are you on? Tom, right now, are you on this chat? Tom was talking about his grandmother too. Okay, I want you to check the first pile out as well because we had a strong grandmother energy angel that was coming through that reading, okay? So I want you to look at pile number one and pile number three, all right, Crystal? There's definitely a message in there for you, okay? Or maybe even just check all the piles, um, just for just for that yeah that's crazy oh my gosh well we are here to heal and i think that is really the message that's coming through and that's so good because that's what i'm trying to um anchor right into this world wow okay yeah so this is letting us know that it's really late we need to go to sleep okay all right, so this is retreat, rest, and be held. I'm just trying to cuddle, and I'm just trying to go to bed. That's it. That's it. That's all I want. I was like, oh, it's going to be a quick 45-minute session, like, five hours later. Oh, yeah, we got room for one more. Don't worry. <laughs> I know okay but honestly like so what happens is when I'm on like when I'm doing the readings like I get all this energy like I really pick up on everybody's energy and then as soon as I turn like everything off I just have like no energy it's like all my energy just got like sucked out as like oh my gosh and then I feel like I have to sleep for like the next two days and then I don't get to show up for you guys. And then I'm like, oh my gosh, they probably hate me because I like can't show up because I'm too tired and I hope they don't think I'm lazy. But then I like, I'm a, I do massage work as well. So like I just am like my own independent contractor for so many things. Um, a multi-potentialite is what I really connect with. But look that up. But yeah, anyway, so ah, it's so challenging, but I love it. Oh my gosh yeah <laughs> awakening energetic upgrades a new way of being an integration you guys what were we talking about we were all connecting okay i i know there's more people that are here i actually can feel more energy stepping in right now so i don't know if there's going to be more people that um tune in at this part of the reading for some reason but i really really am enjoying oh my gosh look at this 
insights that come from quiet meditation, the need for more sleep, okay? Seek relief from stress. Deep replenishment, retreat, rest, and be held. Okay, so this is letting you know you need to go to bed, all right? Go sleep with the angels, because I feel like with the moon, you know, I'm really just getting like some sleepy fairy vibes, okay? But yeah, we, we met each other tonight, okay? Fellow mystic, fellow teacher, all right? Fellow priestess. I'm excited. I'm excited, okay? That's really what I'm seeing for you. You're getting a lot of energetic um, awakenings. You know, I the work that I do, I do activate a lot of people. So um, I'm so grateful that we are connecting. Oh, really? Okay, so yeah, this is, this is interesting. Okay, let's see what mental blocks you have. I'm really feeling called with the flowers, okay? Because we got that sisterhood of rose. Actually, I want to get my balance sticks. All right, all right, all right, all right. So I got you three balance sticks. Designate a specific time every day to focus on self-restoration. Brainstorm new habits that could help you feel more rested and cared for. Make a list of activities that nurture your soul, okay? Yeah, you need to go to bed and then awaken. <laughs> That's what, that's what we all need to do. All right, I'm going to pull one card here. <gasps> Girl, I cannot make this up. I cannot make this up. I cannot make this up. Okay, your grandma is here. Mary Magdalene is here. That is, that is my guide. Mary Magdalene's my guide, okay? She shows up as roses to me and... Okay, Tom Cruise, are you here? I cannot make this shit up. I am spooking myself. We are cut from the same cloth, sister. This is scary, though. The Buddha is also one of my, my guides, okay? Three things cannot be hidden for long. The sun, the moon, and the truth. Oh, my God. I'm sorry. I know. Crystal, are you speechless, too? Because I'm fucking... Oh, my God. Me, too. Girl. Oh my god. Okay, do you have a crystal? <laughs> do you have a crystal crown? Okay, maybe that's too weird. I do crystal Reiki work, okay? I literally have my shit. I'm literally on a grid. Every time I do this shit, I'm always on a grid. Like, I protect the fuck out of my ass, okay? I do not play. I can't even get over that. I don't even want to talk about this. It's just like, I feel like this is its own person. Like, like do I need, do I even need to explain? Like, we literally had the sisterhood of the rose. Like, like, what? This is, yeah, this is some spooky shit. Like, you know how hard it is to spook me? I'm like, okay, I, I feel some vibes, but, oh my God. Like, I don't even, I don't even want to pick another card. I'm just scared, yo. I'm just scared. How is it? How is it? I'm literally just silent. I don't even know what to say. I really don't. Oh my gosh. <gasps> I, okay, you're gonna die. I'm wearing amethyst. I'm literally wearing amethyst. This is an amethyst ring. Can you see the, the purple? I kid you not. I'm wearing amethyst right now. Do you see that? Isn't that crazy? Tom, Tom. My God, I'm like spooked. 
My hair needs to come down for this. You know what I mean? Oh, no. Oh, my. Wow, yeah. Well, we're definitely connecting. I don't know. Do you pray to saints? Do you pray to angels? You know, I said a prayer today. I said, um, you know, verse 140 from the King's James Bible. And I was talking about protection, my God. Like, I don't know if you... Yeah, I, well, I don't know if, like, your grandmother prayed. Like, I'm very old soul, like, I guess you are too, lol. Oh, my goodness. But, yeah, um, I'm sorry. Every time, yeah. Oh, my gosh, Tom, I'm so sorry. We're just having a girl moment. Oh, my gosh, Tom. <laughs> I swear. Oh, my gosh. Anyways. Um, I feel so bad for Tom. He's been like waiting all day, but yeah, we need to stay connected. We, we really do. So funny. Okay. <laughs> we can see what Tom has to say. Honestly, I might. Okay. Um, I'm going to have to figure out how. Okay, you, oh my god, this is so embarrassing. I'm so dead. Okay, I'm going to have to figure out, one, how to erase or edit an, a video so that I can erase, like, the inappropriate tarot card deck that I have because it's, like, the tarot of sexual magic, okay, and it, like, has people in, like, positions. Oh my god, top of my head, embarrassing. But two, okay, so I had a candle and it broke and the wax, like, when I was cleaning it up, literally got all, all over my favorite hoodie, Okay, and now I forgot about it, and I'm looking at it, and I'm just upset. I'm just upset. I'm so sad. <laughs> yes. Yes, I'll give you my info, Crystal. Yeah, Tom. I'm trying to figure out how to, how to like, what's it called? How to edit that, but, like, I want to, like, Wait, which one? The deck? The tarot deck? The sexual tarot deck? Or what? The hair has to go back up. I I, I just don't. I'm ready to chop off all my hair. But, you know, like, everything is closed. And I'm just like, I, I just can't live like this, you guys. Like, it's just, it's too much. It's too much. Okay. Tom, I am going to be screening them, okay? So I won't be... I know. It's so... I'm so dead. Yeah, I'm actually so dead with that. But. Oh, my God. <laughs> okay, Crystal, I'm sure we're just the same fucking person. I swear. You my doppelganger. I like you. Let's hang out. Like in real life. I Okay, I live in Minnesota. Where do you live? Are you like down south? Yeah, I did too. I did it in seventh grade. I literally chopped off all of my hair and I had a pixie cut. And I hated it. Oh, that's right. You're in New York City. Oh, how is that? How is it over there? I'm intrigued. Gotta screen the deck. Okay, Tom. Okay, bottom of the deck, we got the Six of Cups, okay? Six of Cups is talking about past life connections. Um, this is talking about someone that maybe you have known for quite some time. Okay, I'm really being drawn to this photo right here. Yeah, we wear masks everywhere here, too. Okay, yeah. Um, so for this one, LOL, we have the King of Swords. Okay? So, um, yeah, you know, the King of Swords is someone that... So maybe... Ah, uh, <laughs> um, 
you know, maybe this, I'm really being drawn to this lady over here. Maybe she's jealous or something, or maybe there's some sort of, um, exchange okay that is happening okay Tom do you see the, the photo I'm covering up the sensitive images there okay okay but with the nine of cups all right do you see that this person looks like they're talking to an, yeah to one another okay Okay, yeah, this one is not um, appropriate, but yeah, this is the Queen of Cups, okay? I don't know if this is something that you want to do to this person, um, like fondle their chest area or maybe put your face in that area, okay? Um, something about the behind as well is what I'm really being drawn to with this card. Um <laughs> yeah, <clears throat> I mean, I'm just, I, I, I just want to keep this PG, okay? <laughs> yeah, that's coming out strong. All right, let's see what else. All right, all right, all right, let's see what else, Tom. Now you got me all nosy. Now you got me all nosy. Okay, I don't know if you're drawn to the back, okay? I don't know if you like the back specifically like the body part like the back okay or maybe this person has a nice back i don't know if they're a swimmer all right okay yeah i don't know if this person um likes to walk around topless all right um or likes to eat apples or maybe this is what you think of them doing. I don't know, Tom. Okay, but yeah, you're coming out as the magician. This is actually a good card. You're someone that can really manifest and change things. Okay, very powerful manifester. All right. Okay, yeah, maybe you're into like some BDSM stuff, okay? <clears throat> Tom, you went quiet there for a moment. Yeah, okay, you definitely have a lot of um, passion for this individual. <laughs> yeah, yeah, literally, literally. Um, but yeah, you guys, look at that. That's a, that's a good card to have, okay? Well, maybe that's what this person likes, okay? maybe having the person that she is being intimate with in um, some sort of restriction, or she likes to restrict how she shares her intimacy. Ah! No, we're not here to teach. No, girl, no, girl. Okay. But yeah, she's coming out as the Queen of Wands. Okay, this is my hot mama card. I don't know if she likes to um, get undressed or something, or if she likes to have people watch her get undressed. Okay. Um, but yeah, that's, that's what I'm seeing for your connection, Tom. Okay, I don't know if you're going to take her from behind, all right? And I don't need to clarify that. <laughs> Crystal, oh my god. Girl. <laughs> um, I was, you know, I was thinking that's how you were feeling about her. I was picking up on your fantasies. Like, or hers. Maybe she likes to look at people's backs and butts. Or maybe you do, you know, um... There was an image of the person fondling um, the this girl's uh, bosom. And then there was another image. What was it? Yeah, anyways. Yeah. 
yeah. Anyways, there was, there was, yeah. Anyway, Tom, Tom, bro. Okay, yeah, it was, it was a person on a, uh, on a swing. Okay, and it was your bread and butter. Okay, I don't know. That's what I'm saying. I feel like it was your fantasy. I don't know if you've had that fantasy with this person or maybe this person is having that fantasy about you or maybe you guys are just sending each other sexual energy and that is like, maybe you guys have even had like a dream and like had a wet dream of each other. I don't know, okay? How intimate we're trying to get in this, okay? Yes, girl. Okay. <clears throat> boundaries. Okay. This is talking about maybe you or her having boundaries. I keep myself from you because I don't want to hurt you. I think I've done enough damage. Okay. This person is feeling very regretful. I hate that I love you so much. My heart cried out for you. My soul waited for you, but you couldn't hear me. Okay. So many things remind me of you. Aww. Please stop doubting our connection. Oh. If you only knew how much you meant to me. Separation is painful, but we are in spiritual agreement. Our souls understand what must be done. Don't wait for me to make you happy. I will come to you when you have found happiness within. Okay, yeah, they are sending you sexual energy. Just picking up on that heavy, heavy. Yeah, they are your empress. <laughs> Oh my god, Crystal, you're literally reading, like, we need to have you on here every single time, because if I could just say everything you're saying, you're reading, like, the thoughts that are up here, and you're typing them, and I love it. Oh my gosh. Yeah, we already know. Leo's the best. Leo's the best. <laughs> I just don't want to say it, because I don't want to get, like, banned or something. You know what I mean. You get it. Okay, Tom, that was your reading. All right. I felt like that was your fantasy, fondling her, your bread and butter on a swing. I don't know, bro. I don't need to know how tomorrow's going to go, really. I'll pull a card here. Let's see. Well, you are definitely building your legacy right now, okay? It's letting me know that you got to get get a step in, all right? Keep a pushing, all right? Um, you are definitely being watched over by your grandmother. I think we even pulled this card when we did that pick a pile for the first pile, all right? So maybe watch that again. Maybe there's a message in there for you. But yeah, your grandma is definitely watching over you, okay? And basically focus on schoolwork, okay? Very detailed plan. School is a very detailed plan. And also, it's time for bed, y'all. That's what time is it. Time is bedtime. All right, so with that, I will leave you guys. Yes, let me know how your finals go. All right, I want to hear all about it. I know, uh, that's what I'm saying, Tom. I got that deck especially for you, okay? Everybody watching this, everybody that will be watching this or has watched this, thank you guys so much, okay? If this reading resonated, please leave a comment, like, subscribe, do your thing, all right? But please, please, please feel free to email me at tarot sombrero at gmail.com and as always with love and blessings guys love and blessings thank you have a good night guys